Smashbox Labs. Welcome back to Mythbusters. <laughs> yeah, uh, this week on Mythbusters, we test the myth. Uh, do dogs, can they not look up? <laughs> do dogs, can they not look up? <laughs> what, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> that was an English sentence. What, what's really, what's really <laughs> weird is that... <laughs> Where did this come from? I was, I was, I was going to say, is God real? But then I remember that was already done. <laughs> Like someone already took that bit from me, so I was like, "Oh, oh fuck! What do I what do I pull up now?" And that was dogs, God, you know, it all. Do dogs dot dot dot? <laughs> can they look up? Yeah, that, that's some that's some that's some does Bruno Mars is gay shit. <laughs> are you are you a a Latin American? Well, I, don't, I actually don't know the original uh, language of the person that wrote that article. Oh yeah, what I don't their know. native languages, but it very clearly is not English. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had someone like come and talk to you and like you can tell like, oh man, this person they don't fucking speak English normally, but like you don't want to shit on them, you know? I mean, I mean like in real life, as on the internet, I'll shit on everybody. If someone hits me with like a fucking comma out of place, I shit on. Yeah, <laughs> you make a lot of friends, don't you? I mean, people say that. No, they don't. Oh, you might. Aww. You're lying to yourself. It hurts. It should. Truth hurts. Man, when my dad said it, I didn't believe it. But by golly. But no, uh, I, I think that it's always weird for me because if I see someone whose first language isn't English on the internet, if they preface it with, "Don't, by the way, English isn't my first language. Please don't judge me." It always turns out that their English is fucking immaculate. You know. But, well, most of the time it's like they're trying really hard. Yeah. Like our Egyptian friend Fez. Oh, and, and, and I'm not calling him that, like, in a, in a, in a racial manner, in an insensitive manner. He His online moniker was Fez. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he spoke almost immaculate English, except for times where he very clearly misunderstood the meanings of words. Mm-hmm. But, where, like, the times that he did, it, it was so jarring because I was just so used to him speaking so over the top properly yeah and having to explain like the most subtle slang terms to him yeah he goes from using like the queen's english to being fucking illiterate i think the the thing that used to weird me out about fez is that reading like the post he would make on like a forum you would see that sometimes they're in fucking egyptian and then other times they're in english (laughs) did he really post in egyptian yeah he did post well it's not egyptian well, because it was whatever that's not the language, language was. They, they speak Arabic. Yeah, but he, he posted something in Arabic, and I was like, what the fuck is this? And he's like, oh, you know, it's this thing where I do this, this, and this. And I was like, okay, that's that's neat. That's cool and all, but this isn't in English. So he's like, okay. So he just runs it through Google Translate and posts it up again. And he did that for like three, four weeks. Did he, did he know that that wasn't going to fly? Uh, no, he got away with it. There was some guy on another forum who did the same thing in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, but then it... I don't know if it, he was... I don't know mm-hmm. if he even really spoke Spanish. He was taking Spanish fan fictions and... Mm. Bloop. These are mine now. Yeah, there's this guy on a, uh, the Kingdom Hearts site that I'm on. And uh, he, I'm pretty sure, I can't, I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure what he does is he goes in and he writes his post in German, and then he translates it with Google Translate. Maybe he has, a, like, a phrase book. Like yeah. He's sitting there with a phrase book, and he's just like, fuck, how do I say Leiden Schrassen? Yeah. Or some German, that sounded vaguely German. Yeah. I know enough German to fake it a little bit. Yeah, the thing about faking German, I think, is that it's a lot uh, harder than faking English, because if you know a good English cadence... Well, you say that as a native English speaker. Yeah, I'm but... sure. I'm sure German is like, oh, it, it is very easy to fake English, and then they say random English, so yeah. they see, ha ha, I'm English. I think the hardest part about faking any language, really, is just coming up with the syllables on the fly. Right. Cause it's well, like, that's like people that speak gibberish, like yeah. crazy people that speak gibberish, but they speak like fluent gibberish. Yeah. To where like you almost believe that maybe they're not crazy, maybe that's a different language that I'm not aware mm. of and I've never heard uh, or seen. Yeah, maybe they're speaking fucking Yiddish. Well, or something. I've heard Yiddish. Have you? A little bit. Damn. 
on like TV and shit. Oh, not, yeah. not in, like I've never like been, been next to somebody as they spoke Yiddish. Yeah, I'd, I'd give that person that, like a confused that, look. Yeah, but I mean like, where it's part it's like 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 there was uh, some very vaguely homeless looking people that would hang out around the grocery store I used to work at. Uh-huh. Uh, one gentleman would walk through the store uh, on a cell phone that I could never confirm or deny whether it was on or not. Yeah. But he was always talking very loudly. Everybody was well aware that he was on his cell phone. Oh, That's in people. air quotes, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and uh, until he walked out through the door, he was always on that cell phone. And until he was out of earshot, he was on that cell phone. It was super annoying. Um, but, but, one time, I heard him talking in a language that didn't sound like a real language. And I'm like... Okay, this guy's not talking to anybody. He's talking to himself. He's a crazy <laughs> person. Because I've heard... Okay, the preface this. This yeah. is just a regular white guy. Just like a, a pot-bellied, yeah. red-blooded, American-looking motherfucker. Did he have a, one of those Ehrlich Bachman beards where the, the chin is shaved out, but he has the, the mustache and the sideburns? No, he had like just like shitty stubble. Oh, God. It was like shitty, like... He shaved it every morning, and it was back by 5 p.m., but he, like, had the, like, the, the, the pock marks from cutting himself, mm-hmm. uh, because his dad was never there to teach him how to shave. Oh, rip. Oh, Ooh, no, uh, <laughs> my dad didn't teach me how to shave until I was, like, 18. I, I didn't. Like, this is a little, a little late there, pops. My mom bought me razors one day, and then I just started shaving. Your head or no, your face? No, my face. Okay. Because I was, like, uh... Man. See, but I feel like that's a, that's an honest question. Yeah, yeah. Cause because I, I you shave, shave your head. head, you don't yeah. shave your face now. Yeah, yeah. I, I trim, trim it. Every now and then. Which I need to do again. I need to trim my face and shave my hair. I just... Shave my hair. I just haven't been. It's a very, very strange situation to be in. Yeah, yeah. I would say so. I Have you... Okay, so your town, right? How many homeless people would you say were there that I, you knew of? I was aware of two. Okay. I feel it. And, and that's assuming that the, the talking on the cell phone guy was actually homeless. Yeah. I just assumed. Okay, so who's the other homeless guy? It was a it was some guy who was on the uh, the the stairs to one of the businesses. I don't remember what the hell it was. My mom went back to give him, like, hot food, and he was yeah. gone. Like, he had a garbage bag full of clothes with him uh, that we later found out to be stolen. Yeah. Uh, of course. Yeah. Uh... Which is a whole nother story that I don't really mm-hmm. want to get into. Uh, but uh, he had... My, my mom was like, I'm going to get him food. We're going to get food. I'm going to get him food. That's so sad that he's out there on his own. And we come back, and he's just gone. And I never <laughs> saw him again. <laughs> it's like the, the disappearing right. hobo. But, but he looked like just like a classic hobo. Yeah. So then I started developing like conspiracy theories like of what happened to this homeless person. Like where he could have gone. What could have happened to him. And, and then, like, uh, somebody made the joke about, you know, serial killer, the easiest thing for a serial killer to do is kill hobos, because who's going to miss a hobo? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, is there a serial killer in my hometown? So then yeah. for like a while I was just like under the impression there was a serial killer in my hometown. I need to watch my fucking back. Yeah, like you need to be careful. Yeah, it's like if he mistakes me for a hobo, You're dead. He, he's going to think I'm an easy kill. So you can't wear like a dirty shirt anywhere. Right, right. So the, that that's where I learned about personal hygiene. Right, you didn't want to get killed, so you, you put on like a clean shirt, you shaved your, your underbrush. I, I mean, I didn't shave when I was like Ooh. 10. When this happened, so you just had like a really big scruff going. At ten years old, yeah, everyone, you know, you get uh, the beard fairy. They visit you, you when you're ten. You were the only person I know that looked four years old in junior high, so <laughs> that's a lie. Uh, shout out to my friend Donald I went to school with. Who, what up, Don? Who uh, he's the only. Well, I, I was gonna say the only other, but I actually know another Patrick with premature mm. male pattern baldness. Now, is uh, it like, am I the cool Patrick? Uh, no, this Patrick <laughs> was way cooler than you. <laughs> he was in an industrial metal band. Oh, shit. He made very creepy head dolls. Like, uh, he, he took, like, uh, beauty boutique heads that yeah. they had, like, mountain wigs on and made some really sick-looking fucking art with it. Damn. Super cool shit. Uh, I should have added him on Facebook uh, because I'm sure he had pictures of it on there and I would like to show you because mm. it was cool shit. I don't remember what his last name was and I'm sure if I Google Patrick... Several hundred people are going to show up that are not that guy. Yeah. I don't know where he was from. 
I know he worked at my Walmart that yeah. I worked at. But uh, we're the, one of the busiest Walmarts in Ohio. Dude, there's... I got, a, I got a tangent off this here. There's this guy in high school that... Uh, for one thing, I want to preface this. I was a dumbass in high school. Um, Everybody was. Yeah, but uh, I, I meant, like, really, like, stupid, like, comparatively. Like, I was still smart, but not common sense-wise. I did not you, have common sense. You're not really common sense smart now, either. Precisely. <laughs> so, imagine me, but uh, to the point where even I could call myself stupid. The type of person that I would Well, call you could that. call yourself stupid now. Yeah. But, like... Like, I look back at myself in the past, and I'm like, man, I thought I knew so much shit back then. Yeah. And it's like, comparatively, it's just like, I know more and more. And I feel like, at this point, I've forgotten more stuff than I used to know. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'll hear things like, I fucking knew that already. It's like, yeah. or I'll ask a question, and then realize as soon as I ask the question, I know the answer to it. Yeah. And it's like, nah, I just gotta listen to this person <laughs> explaining something to me that I already understand. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like... If their ex- explanation goes on too long, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I got it. It's fu- I, yeah. I, I remember. I Thank it. you." I'm with you, like uh, I, I. But the reason I brought it up is because there was this guy, right? Uh, we'll we'll call him Adam. Uh, I fucking oh god. His name dude. really Adam? Uh, no, it's not. But uh, he he does art for like a card game now. Oh, cool. Like he he gets paid and he gets a percentage and you know it's really dope. He he does all that kind of shit. What and, card uh, game? Uh, I I don't want to say because I think he's the only. I think he's like the the main artist. Okay. But I well, also... if you didn't say that part. Yeah, yeah. Admittedly, fuck. If you didn't say but... he's the main artist, you could have said, you know, this is literally one of the guys that has done art. Yeah. For X game. But uh, is it a I'll... game I know? Is it a game I'm aware of? Uh, you you might have heard of it. Uh, it's it's like a an actual like TCG, not like a like a Hearthstone or an Elder Scrolls Legends, like a paper one. Uh-oh. So I mean I you know I, I'm not into that I prefer like Hearthstone, Elder Scrolls Legends, shit like that. Oh, so it's like one of those off-brand, like Giant Head, or what? I, I brought this up at D and D, and everybody mm-hmm. did the same thing. Giant is this fucking werewolves, vampires card game. Wait, Dryad? Giant, J Y H A D, I believe. Wow, I've never heard of that. I mean, I've it, uh, my my dad just brought home a box of cards like hey you guys want to check this out and I was like this is just bad <laughs> magic the gathering why would yeah won't you bring them magic cards Dan that would be impressive that'd be dope yeah well, my dad bought us magic cards twice uh he bought random 1000 boxes I was like they can make decks out of that turns out you couldn't so we, we bought structure decks yeah and then made you know decks out of, that was the two times and then we I've bought my own magic cards ever since then mm-hmm. as you can tell by the box of magic cards like, well the technically two boxes I have I have one box there's a, a a booster box I think they call them I forget what the fuck they call yeah. them uh, but that and then I have a, a pre-constructed commander deck mm. that I have the box for but uh I I remember I was sitting there and I was thinking uh like, you know, I used to... I didn't make fun of him, but it was one of those things where, like, because of our different music tastes, I looked down on him really hard. <laughs> and Why? It's like, Why would you look down on somebody for their music taste? Because we were talking about Three Days Grace or something, and uh, he was like, oh, you know, I really like this album by Three Days Grace, and it was, like, their newest album. So I was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I really like stuff off of, uh, you know, this album, this album, this album, and he's like, uh, I mean, I haven't really listened to it that hard, and I was like, yeah, you know, I didn't think you would, and <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was pretty much the, the quintessential douche about it for okay. no reason okay. at all. It, it was the, it was like the stupidest thing I've ever condescended wait, wait, wait. someone so, for. So, wait, wait, wait. You, you were like, you were like, oh, I've listened to so much more Three Days Grace. Yeah. You? Okay. I so felt like I thought was... I thought you were on the receiving end. I was like, wow, that guy's a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. It was. It's it, like there there are a lot of things like, like no, Duke's the dickhead. This and then because uh, uh, I had to remember, yeah. Duke has told me stories like he was a bully. Yeah. So uh, you were like, wow, what? I was like, was Duke bully? <laughs> uh, nope. Yeah, Duke so, being a dick again. So it's like, it's one of those things where I look back on it now, and I'm like, wow, that is the stupidest fucking. No one should brag about having heard more Three Days Crates than another person. And uh, I, I just I'm just so really bad. the Simple Plan, <laughs> dude. There was there was this one girl on my Wait, bus. Wait, Simple Plan's a band, right? That's not yeah. a song. Yeah. Okay. Right. But there there was this one girl on my bus who I was talking to her on the bus ride, and we were talking about metal, and uh, hard rock, and you know you know music. 
and uh, I was like, oh man, you know, a band I like, and I don't really know if they fit this genre, is I really like Disturbed, and she's like, Disturbed? I haven't heard of Disturbed. And what? <laughs> yeah, I know. So I was like, oh man, they're like, if you're listening to like rock music right now, because this is like 2008, 2009, I'm like, they're like your Bible, man. <laughs> and, and she's like, well, I don't really like Christian music. <laughs> and so... So, so begins... What is a metaphor? <laughs> yeah, so begins a three-year stint of her thinking I'm a Christian rock nut, and I'm a hardcore, <laughs> like, she thinks I'm, like, Just hardcore Christian. Disturbed as a Christian rock man, that's great. Yeah, she got super mad at me. She's like, uh, she messaged me on Facebook, she's like, uh, you know, Duke, I, I really don't want you trying to convert me to your religion, and I'm like, at the time I was an atheist, so I was like, I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And she didn't believe me. So, <laughs> so it took, it took, like, a long time. And then I tried to fuck her sister. And <laughs> As these stories often go. Yeah, it, it was it was really weird. Good. But uh, yeah, dude, I I just I actually had a fucking heart attack uh, down here last year because I saw, I thought I saw her sister at the college. Uh, I thought you were like telling me, for the first time, yeah. the story of you having an actual heart attack, <laughs> which was almost believable for a second. Yeah. I was like, oh fuck, did I almost? Did Duke almost die? I mean, I have almost died, like, an awful lot. Well, I mean, when you yeah. Think about it. But, I mean... Not of a heart attack, though. You can, you can skate close to death. Yeah. Uh, just doing stupid shit. Yeah. Uh, Dear goodness, can you? Which, God, have I done before. Mm-hmm. Like, looking back, just, like, making it this far... Yeah. ...has been... Uh, an has, accomplishment. Yeah, it's an accomplishment. Not... Not so... Not as not as not as great of an accomplishment, yeah. considering it's like it's l- literally everything that we're programmed to do mm-hmm. is just don't die, yeah, and fucking make more of you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which if, if you think about it, um, I'm already sucking at that part. Not dying or the making but more making of more of you since I'm I'm interested in men. So it's like, eh, you know, like. Do you think that, like, okay, so way back when, right, Roman times. Right. Do you think they were like, ha-ha, this guy's a fag? Or do you think they were like, wow, get a load of Lumerius. He's not fucking this little boy like the rest of us. Like, what? Well, I want to I wanna stop Greek you. times, Greek times. Sorry. Right, well, they spoke Latin. Yeah. So they didn't use any of the words you just fucking used. Uh, s- oh, fuck, what is it? You check Estes Lumerius. I can't say. Are you fucking? He's not fucking a little boy. I don't know. I don't know enough Latin. I know. Who like the fuck? Did your high school actually teach Latin? No, we taught uh, French only. So French and Spanish. French so Spanish. you taught yourself enough Latin to <laughs> to pretend at least to know how to say. Why are you not fucking? What would you say his name was? Oh, uh, Lumerius. <laughs> yeah, Lumerius. Lumerius. There was there was you know Robert right um, from the internet the our internet oh, friend Robert oh, okay yeah. Yeah. really condescending Robert okay yeah Bojangles and, Robert yeah and uh, he he was telling me he was learning Latin one day like in school so you're like I'm gonna one up this motherfucker yeah I was like I'm gonna try and one up this fucking guy you, you, time, you do so many things out of spite that it's, so many things. it's it's it's, it's a, impressive. It's actually impressive. I, I was like, I, I, I've tried to do a lot of things out of spite, and I give up on most of them because it's just like, I, I, it's like you let that person get in your head that much that yeah. you're you're doing this out of spite. You learned a language, sort of. Yeah, I, I learned enough of it to talk to him for five minutes about it, and then I pretended I had to go. <laughs> it's like I, I did okay, you know, <laughs> and uh, I, I did the same thing with Greek mythology. Uh, I once ate ten hamburgers out of spite. Okay, so that's you know. a different story. Yeah. You were going to eat a lot of hamburgers, yeah. but somebody told you you couldn't eat ten. Yeah. So you ate ten. Yeah. And then I threw won. one up. I did, I did. So but I took to one off fair, count. The first one was a double and fries. It was a full meal. Oh, did they count that one? No, they didn't. Oh. So that's why, yeah. You ate ten. Yeah. Well, you ate eleven and threw up one. Yeah. So they took, they took the... They took off the one that was a separate meal, and they took off the one I threw up. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, otherwise I'd still hold that record, I think. I still think I could beat that. I, I, I would love to, one day I want to get like a, I'm going to get a big paycheck in September, I think. We, we just need to go and try. But, uh. Right. Speaking of, uh, eating things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we really need to get onto our first, because we're 20 minutes, <laughs> I, I don't know if you noticed, we're 20 minutes in and we haven't even started our first discussion topic for today, yeah. which is something that 
I still can't believe I watched happen live on TV. Yeah, what? what so, what? so I, I don't know if you're aware of this. There used to be this show on Nickelodeon called You Pick. Okay. Okay. On the February twenty first, two thousand three episode, and this was like a hyped up event for like two, three weeks at least. Yeah. Garbaggio, a lucha libre wrestler uh, on the show, familiar. Wrestled. Okay. Cookies and milk. And lost. Why does it sound familiar? I I I. I I was looking for the clip of it. Yeah. I can find him fighting, or Adam Sandler fighting a turkey on UPIC, and Garbage is there, like, mediating, I guess. Uh, but I can't find the cookies and milk one. I've looked for the cookies and milk one before. This was, like, years ago, because yeah. I was like, I was like, I'm not hallucinating, right? Like, this was a thing. This, this yeah. I, I remember this. I'm not crazy. This happened. Mm-hmm. And for a while, I couldn't find anything on it, and I'm just like, I'm just fucking crazy. And none of my, neither of my siblings remember it. Like, Sebastian, uh, they're just like, what? Like, I'm like, about? come on, we were old enough. You guys remember? Yeah. I was like, my sister was two years old at the time, so there's no way she fucking. Yeah, knows. she's out of the equation. Yeah. Plus, she's just. A, she's know. a bitch. No offense. <laughs> I don't know your sister. I'm just assuming from what you told me. I'm making that educated guess. All right, Duke. We're first <laughs> insulting, insulting each other's sisters now. Uh, dude, which one you want? Which one of mine you want to take? I, the I one only, that's... I've only met one. <laughs> Fair. You haven't met mine though, so I. I, I guess I, I, no, no I you haven't. Michaela. I only met uh, Logan. Yeah, I met Logan, my mom. I actually yeah. don't think he met my dad. I don't think I did. I want to say he was out because I remember I, we walked in and I, I, I immediately Matt and I we immediately like nitpicked that. Oh fuck, what was it? The it was a it was a thing on your on your your dresser your cabinet your the uh, the hutch as my mom and dad called it. Yeah, it was like home is something. It was, something about, it was something super fucking dumb. No, you may know how to build a computer, but I can build. <laughs> I can build a home. <laughs> it, was, it was I can build. I can build a computer, but you only you can build a home. I I still don't know if that was from my older brother or my dad, but it's it was the cringiest fucking thing I've ever seen. I, I remember I saw it and I, I immediately was taken aback because Matt saw it first and he was like he elbowed me and I looked at it and I was like what the fuck? <laughs> it's the cringiest fucking thing, dude. I never got a straight answer out of my. Uh, my brother if it was him or if it was my dad fuck dude because i i I probably shouldn't have asked in the same breath that i called it the cringiest fucking thing i've ever seen (laughs) yeah because he immediately was like oh fuck he's like i'm not gonna own up to that that was obviously dad now (laughs) yeah like what what are you talking about you stupid fucker i (laughs) i think okay so who do you think would win like a round two garbaggio or that placard i hope garbaggio isn't dead (laughs) I mean, we're gonna sound like huge assholes. Yeah, shit like, his like I, I want to think that Garbaggio could take him in the room. Like he said, <laughs> he said fourteen years to shape up. Yeah, I want, <laughs> I want Garbaggio to be like a legitimate like Lucha Libre wrestler now, yeah. and he still goes by Garbaggio, dude. I, I, like he's he's running Lucha Underground or whatever the fuck it's called now. Have you did you watch that show Mucha Lucha? Fuck yeah! Why? I gotta ask this. The question. flea was the shit. My my problem was my problem with it was uh, I was a big fan of Ultimate Muscle, which yeah. was also a, a wrestling uh, TV show. That's getting a sequel, I heard. You the anime with the the red mouth? Yeah, well, sort of. Like the, they've the got main big guy. Some, the the yeah, the main guy's got like big lips. Yeah, he had the the brown hair. It was like a tuft of grass. Well, he had like one like a spike of brown hair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's like you said sequel sequels are for like movies books stuff like that well like a follow up I guess right so like a new chapter something like a that. reboot yeah it's starting up again I guess it could be a way. like they're they're doing more uh, that's cool I did not know that I heard that it, it was a rumor on an anime subreddit right. and some guy linked like a press release in all right. Japanese well it, if they do that's awesome uh, Ultimate Muscle is one of my favorite uh what, what, four kids? WB, four kids. Yeah. Or fucking, one of my dope. favorite shows. That and Yu Gi Oh! was like, I was like, yeah. those are the two shows I wanted to watch. Then there was also the Kirby show. I didn't play any of the Kirby games, but goddamn, if I didn't love that cartoon. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. Same. I, I loved seeing that shit. I loved uh, King DDD. King DDD. Yeah. I, I always want to say DDD. Uh, I, think, I think it is DDD. Either way. His name is D E D E D E if I remember right. It's either D E D E D E or D E D E. But D E D E sounds too short. D D. Yeah. 
Diddy. King, see, King, King Diddy. Yeah, versus King Diddy. It. Yeah. You know. I want to say it's King Diddy. Yeah, it, it's it just sounds better. But uh, you know, I like that shot. Like Ultimate. I'm sure, Muscle. that's Carlos Mencia's favorite Smash Brothers character. Uh, that maybe that's why. I hope that's not why it's fucking sticking in my head like that. But I mean, being honest, uh, as a kid. I loved Mind of Mencia. Yeah, well, that was I love one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I here's the thing, right? So comedy, right? You know, you and I both we, we love comedy. We love studying right. comedy. We like looking at good comedy. But to to what extent? Do you, and I'm sorry to get super deep on comedy in this point, but uh, what to what extent do you think that comedy is meant more to entertain than it it is to be an industry? Does that make sense? Do I need to reword? Um, I don't exactly understand the question. So, like, at what point are you obligated as a comedian to come up with new original material other than just entertain an audience with something maybe I, that's I, been I don't think while? that you're at all obliged to do uh, new material. Mm-hmm. I think that if people keep coming to your shows and you keep doing the same jokes, more power to you. It's like Darwinism. Darwinism and comedy. I'm sorry. Please go on. Reverse Darwinism? I'm sorry, I, I, I thought I knew where you were going. I didn't mean to... <laughs> I, <laughs> I had what, to... what I'm saying is some people, yeah. they, they have a good hour. Mm-hmm. They do just that hour. Mm-hmm. They keep doing just that hour. Forever. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know... Fuck, I can't, I can't even name anybody off the top of my head because I don't want to sound like a... A yeah. dumbass for not knowing what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and not yeah. shoot myself in the foot by throwing out a name there that I think might do that. have have done that for a long period of time. But I know that a lot of comedians now, uh, just the ones that I listen to, are you know just because it's been it's it's so much easier now to get in sort of on like the comedic process that these guys go through, where they are like okay. My my special came out. I'm gonna take a few months off. Then I'm back on the road. Start working on you know writing new shit, mm-hmm. uh, workshopping new shit, and going to new show or doing shows. This that and the other. And it's like uh, I know a lot of them like they record their uh, shows so they can just, you know hear the timing, hear you know what got the most laughs. Because I mean you're not gonna just remember that shit. Yeah. Uh, but instead of I I, I like. I like stuff that's been worked on, sure, but I also want to see stuff from my favorite comedians every mm-hmm. year, too. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, I, I, on one hand, it's like, I respect the process. On the other hand, it's like, I would really like to hear more from you. Mm-hmm. Please continue. But then you've got people like Joe Rogan, Tom mm-hmm. Segura, Bill Burr. I can go listen to their podcast. And it's, it's pretty much... Tom Segura has a podcast? Oh my god, you don't know about your mama's house? No! Oh my god, it's so fucking good. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Didn't Holy I introduce shit. you to him anyway? Yeah, you did. Fuck, how did I not know about it? I'm so excited. Yeah, you were... Uh, <laughs> well, Tom, you, yeah, you sort of, like, pushed me towards, like, giving more yeah. comedians a chance. You pushed me, like, you gotta check out Tom Screw. I'm like, he just looks like some fat guy. And it's <laughs> like, I'm a fat guy. Why am I judging him because he's a fat guy? <laughs> so I was like, alright, I'll watch Tom Screw. And I was like, this is really fucking good. Mm. And I'm just like, hey, dude, Tom Segura's got a new special out. And you're like, yeah, I fucking heard it. I was like, oh, let's do it last night. And yeah. it's like, oh, this is the coolest shit ever. Yeah. Uh, but then I was listening to Joe Rogan Experience because uh, my brother pushed me at it for some reason or another. Mm-hmm. And I just see Tom Segura is on a recent episode. I was like, hey, that's cool. I was like, I'll listen to this. I was like, oh, this is an hour and a half long. Oh, he's been on multiple podcasts. I've got to listen to all of these now. <laughs> But that was also, like, what pushed me into, like, giving Bill Burr a chance. Because I, I looked at Bill Burr and was like, eh, it's not for me. Eh, it's mm-hmm. not for me. Uh, there are a lot of comedians I still do that with. Mm-hmm. But I have heard some of their stuff. I've given a lot more people a chance mm-hmm. that ordinarily I wouldn't have. Uh, and I still don't like them. Yeah. I'm not going to name names. Mostly because that's the number one way to get yelled at by people. It's yeah. like, you don't like this person? Like, how dare how you? How fucking dare you? They are my favorite comedian. Yeah, it's like um, some people. This this isn't my thought. This is a, a mirror of a thought I heard uh, somewhat recently. Some people were complaining about Aziz Ansari lately because he, you know, he's doing his Netflix show and Master of None. Yeah, it's it's apparently really successful. Yeah. Well, it's getting a 
It has second or third season. Third. It, it, it the first season had a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes for a long time. Yeah. And uh, that's what I still haven't seen it. Yeah, it's it's hit and miss. Because I, I, I heard it was a more serious show. It's it's very dry comedy. The the comedy that it, it showcases isn't like his. Like his stand up, right. and that's what people. Well, my my thing is like, there's so much shit that I have to catch up on, mm-hmm. that I'm I'm really like pick and choosy yeah. about what I what I even start. Mm-hmm. Let alone getting caught up on something. Yeah, like uh, fuck, dude. I know you don't like House of Cards, and I honestly at this point I agree with here's, you. Here's my thing. I, I it's not that I don't like the show. I haven't watched the show. I don't mm-hmm. like the idea of the show. Yeah, what it what it uh, exemplifies. Yeah, right, right. To me, to me. It normalizes political corruption, mm-hmm. and it, desensitizing people to the shit, uh, shit that is going on and slash is potentially going on, uh, I think is a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I have a serious gripe with it and a not so serious gripe. I'm gonna lead off with the not so serious one first. Uh, number one, uh, the the girl that they pick to be his, uh, you know, his little, uh, what do you call him? Like he's fucking her and she's getting information. A mistress. Yeah, his mistress is not believable. But it's not the short blonde haired woman, is it? No, that's his that's his wife. Okay, I thought so. But uh the, the mistress is like this young, kind of bass mouthed uh oh, brunette yeah. and you know I wouldn't fuck her. That that's the bottom line of it. I don't think she is appealing enough that <laughs> that the character they've built would risk his entire political career for her. That's fucking great. You know, I I don't think that is believable. That's, um, that's awesome. Yeah, and they they try to paint her as like this Helen of Troy figure, where in reality she's more like Helen of Troy's third cousin, fourth removed with an underbite. Um, I, I actually I don't know if she has an underbite. I'm just fucking around, but. I'm, I'm fucking around in part, but the, the serious crap I have with the show is that after the first season, you kind of know where it's going. Right. Oh, this guy wants to be president, and he's going to fuck everyone over on the way. Does he, does he eventually become president? Yeah, I think oh. season three. Cool, cool. I, I've only seen the first season, uh, but I had it spoiled for me because I was talking to one of our friends about something. Man, and I, I, I hate spoilers. Yeah, I was with a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah, uh, sorry boys, I, I did realize I spoiled part of that show for you, but I mean, hey, it's four years old now. Is it the season three is. Yeah, I, I think so. It's okay. two. It's two years, three years, or four years. It just depends when season one started. Right. That that's fair. Yeah. Uh, but my my failed segue there to uh, lemons. Uh, well, uh, the, the the topic that I had in mind was uh, how much. How much lemon juice would you drink for a hundred thousand uh, dollars? How much they have? How much would you drink? Like there is there is a magically oh, like what's my hard limit. Yeah, what what is what? Is, there's a magically infinite limit of lemon juice. Uh, a gallon, because that, that's all my stomach can hold. <laughs> I'd kill a man for ten grand drinking lemon juice for a hundred. Yeah, fuck yeah, every day. Yeah, but it's it's <laughs> only a gallon. That was my thing. Oh, oh okay. Well, how well I mean, much? like your body can take like if you can urinate, come back, yeah. and drink more lemon juice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how how much lemon juice? How how much would you sub- subject yourself to it? I drink two gallons of lemon juice a day for a week. That that's I assume that's enough, but it it just seems like my stomach would eventually just want to explode. I, yeah, I but guess. if I'm magically enchanted, I'll drink mm-hmm. as much as they have. A well, I'm not saying like amount. I'm not saying like your stomach and bladder and shit is like infinite. Like yeah. I'm just saying that the magic the magic is limited to it'll give you as much lemon juice oh. as you you want to drink. And w- how much would you drink for a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars? I'd say my hard cap would be a hundred. Okay, so if you were if let me, let me put it this way, if you were told uh, there is a Seemingly infinite supply of lemon juice. Okay. If you drink enough of it, I will give you a hundred thousand dollars, but I'm not going to tell you how much. So when? How I much stop? do you drink? Oh fuck! Two hundred gallons. Two hundred gallons. Do I have to do it in one sitting? No. Oh yeah, two hundred gallons. Two gallons a day for a third of a year? Fuck yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm saying you. Well, I mean, you got to do it that day. Uh. Fuck. What if you got to do it that day? I just have to. Mm. It was guzzled down as much as you can in that 24-hour period. Yeah, I would just, I'd stay up. I, I, I'd prepare for it the day before by one, 
Uh, same thing I did with my colonoscopies. I would drink a gallon of laxatives. And then I would... <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Uh, there was... Uh, when I, I had a, an internal fissure at one point. And Is I, that what it sounds like? Like a rip in the intestines and inside, yeah. You, um, you could have just said yes. You didn't have to confirm. But uh, they, they made me drink a gallon of laxatives because they needed to make absolutely sure that I was... 100% clean, and it took me, like, all day. Yeah, but can't, the, like, if you have a, a rip in your intestine, can't shitting a lot kill you? Yeah. That was that was why they needed me to, they need... It's like, we I, need you to shit, like, so we can get this done. Yeah, they needed, they were, like, so you, taking, you can't You can't put something up there to block the flow, take care of it, let it heal, and then unblock the flow, like... They wanted to do that with a balloon of some kind? Well, I assume they'd put you on, like, a colostomy bag or something. No, no. I mean, that was, that was an option. Uh, it was. Uh, but I mean, but I, I still, they that, would have to fix the, the yeah. tear before you bled out internally. Yeah, so here's the problem that happened with that. Um, yeah, can, we, can, I, can, I, can I stop you for a second? Yeah, yeah. Like, if this is going to get real bad, okay. don't say it. Oh, it's not going to get real Wrap bad. Wrap whatever the fuck you're saying up, because yeah. I'm really uncomfortable with don't this. Don't worry, it's not going to get real bad. <laughs> okay. The, the problem with it is that they wanted me to be ready by, uh, like, the next day. And they gave me a gallon of laxatives. <laughs> just, just, I just imagine like a gallon of milk of magnesium. Yeah, it looked like protein powder. <laughs> it looked like like protein powder. So my mom so bought like a twelve pack water. of Gatorade. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it, that's that's the story, pretty much. Oh my god. But, uh, so you're just eating a spoonful of this powder and drinking, drinking Gatorade. Gatorade yeah. That's fucked up. And then oh halfway god. through, I feel like I feel like like. A few spoonfuls, I'm like, I just let it kill me. I don't care. Halfway through. Don't care that much, Mom. I'm sorry. Halfway through and only halfway through did my mom get the idea, why don't we just mix it with the Gatorade? So I, I ate half a gallon of protein powder. Listen, that's as much on you as it is on her. Yeah. Uh, you are also a human being. Yeah. I you was, have a mind. I think I was like 16 at the time, too. So yeah. that was... Yeah. Yeah, fuck, you really should have known better at that point. Yeah, I, it, it was kind of on me. But... but you know, again, hospitals, doctors. Yeah, but I mean, you've made a lot of poor decisions. Yeah, my life is kind of uh, defined by them. Right. To, to an extent. Well, <laughs> I, I guess anybody can be uh, allow themselves to be yeah. uh, defined by their failures. You know, I, I had a real deep conversation with someone uh, not too long ago. I think it was like half a year ago. Oh, that'll be a great segue. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I realized that I... When I look at my like my life, right, like it's full of all kinds of weird and kind of dark and fucked up shit. Right. But like when most I, people's are. Yeah. But they just don't know how insignificant some of their problems are until they hear like yeah. somebody with worse problems. Yeah. And I, I realized one day that what I, what I actually do like non facetiously like define myself with is like the little moments, you know, not like the bad ones or the good ones, just like tiny things, like. Uh, Nights just like spent drinking beer under the stars, or <laughs> not, 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 not like binge drinking. Duke, you're an alcoholic. So <laughs> whenever you, when you tell me you define yourself by drinking, it's not, it's not. Well, I'm not just like relaxing under the stars, right? But or... you're not consoling that that fear I have of you, you being, yeah. uh, you know, an alcoholic. Yeah, I mean, it does run in my family. Like my dad. Yeah, that is true. Your dad is an That's the problem. Yeah, I know. I'm have, aware of that. I've told you about this. Have you ever seen someone and, like, you know they're sober, but you're 100% sure, like, this person never needs to touch alcohol in their life? Yeah, myself. Adam Sandler, for me. At, w- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Okay, so I, every time I've ever seen an Adam Sandler interview, it's like he turns into one of his movie characters. How would you know? You have seen very little of his movies. But I have seen a lot of interviews with him. Right, but you have, like, there, there are good Adam Sandler movies. I'm sure. You have seen, like, none of them. We uh, started The Waterboy and never finished it. I yeah, hope that's yeah. still on Netflix. We still, we still need to watch that. I, I do need to watch that. I've seen The Wedding Singer. Um, so like longest yard. You you've seen Adam Sandler movies that I wouldn't necessarily consider essential. The longest yard is good. Fifty first dates, I think. Fifty first dates is all right. Still yeah. wouldn't consider it essential. So what, what to you is like the essential Adam Sandler experience? Waterboy, Big Daddy, right. Billy Madison, uh-huh. uh, Mr. Deeds, just because of the uh, the uh, the butler. I can't remember his name. Fuck. I have seen Click now. God, he is so good in that role. He's so great. He's like, 
sort of like the creepy character. Uh-huh. But it's a comedy movie, so it's not like, ah, oh, is he going to kill everybody? It's like, yeah. It's funny that he's creepy, is, yeah. is the, what I'm getting at. It's like a joke. You have seen Click? Yeah. Click is probably in the top two or three Adam Sandler movies for me. Because the, the, the rain scene still makes me cry. Yeah, the do-over I've seen. Do-over's pretty good. Um, Which is strange to hear. A, a movie in 2016 from Adam Sandler and David was Spade. pretty good. And David Spade. David Spade is, plays number two to Adam Sandler. Yeah. Uh, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. To be fair, they had really good chemistry. I really, I really liked that movie. I've only watched it one time. I would watch it again. I plan to watch it again with my brother, and then we just never ended up doing it. Mm. So I feel like most movies, uh, especially movies like that, like after you've seen the ending, like you appreciate the build up to it more. Mm-hmm. So I, most of the time, I will watch movies a couple times over, like the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. Mm-hmm. I'll watch those. Any day of the week. Back to the Future movies, I'll watch the fuck out of those. I need to see them in English. You really do. The fact that you watched all of them in French is mind blowing. <laughs> you subjected yourself to that. Oh, uh, fuck. What, what did he say his name was to his parents? Did you just tell him it was his name? Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Uh, Je m'appelle Calvin. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And then I'm like, I'm watching this movie. No, no, no. See, the thing is, his mom. Uh, or his his mom's mom, his yeah. grandma, somebody was changing him. He had yeah. Calvin Klein brand underwear on. He's they like, assumed they, they assumed his they assumed his name was Calvin because yeah. it was on his underpants, and that <laughs> wasn't like a thing at the time. I yeah. guess I don't know. I didn't wear underwear in the fifties. I just remember I was I was watching that movie and trying to piece together the plot. Because, you know, I had heard Because it's in movies. French. Yeah, because at the time, it was my first year of French ever watching the, the trilogy. So they really should have done it in, like, year three. But uh, I'm, I'm watching it in the first year of French, and I am so fucking lost by what they're saying that, like, I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, okay, so he wants to fuck his mom? And no. they're like, no, he doesn't want to fuck his mom. And it's like, but his mom wants to fuck him, but then his yep. dad, his Biff wants to fuck his mom. Yeah. But then his dad is like, no, don't fuck his mom. And well... <laughs> And he, like, hits him? The, well, the mom was never down to fuck Biff. Yeah. She was down to fuck, fuck Marty. Yeah. Uh, Marty was not DTF. And then the dad and The dad was Biff. like, get your hands off of her and dex Biff. And then I, I, I'm i mad that I just did that. No, the smack sound? Yeah. That's one of the most annoying things for me. Oh, yeah, like uh, onomatopoeia sound effects. In, right. Um, well, no, no, it's just like whenever you like you see somebody like talking with their hands and they keep like clapping their hands together. Like you, you almost did it once earlier, and I was just like, oh, don't oh do yeah, that, dude. I. And then I just did it. I and stopped I'm just like, early. oh, as soon as I did it, I'm like, I'm a cunt. There's... It's like I didn't hear a clap sound whenever my fist hit my hand. I heard, I'm a cunt. <laughs> there's there's one of our friends. I think you'll know immediately as soon as I start describing it. But uh, what they do is they'll be like. Uh, you clap, really clap, need to stop, clap, 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 doing this clap. Or yeah, And then they'll say fan. That is the most irritating character trait to have. Yeah. The whole clapping while talking thing. I didn't notice how much I hated it, yeah. mind you, uh, until either this morning or yesterday mm-hmm. I watched uh, the Child's Play video. Yeah. Which I guess is a new video. Now that I'm saying this, I haven't heard of it. Uh, it's it's by Drake, which is weird that I watched a Drake music video mm-hmm. because I don't do that normally. But it was on my recommended, so I was like, "Eh, why the fuck not?" I was assuming it was going to be another pop piece of garbage, but it was actually a rap song with a lot of weird shit thrown in the middle of it. So like Kanye style rap? Uh, well, the music video just had a lot of weird shit, so like just scenes. That didn't make sense. They didn't string the music together whatsoever. It was an interruption. And to me, I feel like it was put on there just to break the YouTube video over the 10 minute mark. Because it's a 12 minute video. A 12 minute music video. Where it was like, the first like two minutes is him just at dinner with some bitch. And he's like just being a calm guy. Mm-hmm. While he's in the bathroom, I guess the girl was going through his phone. And saw something that made her think he wasn't at the studio all night last night. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know, why are you doing this? He's like, just talking real quietly. And she's like, cause we gonna do it. And she's clapping her hands and I'm just like, oh, Oh. I wanna shoot this bitch. Yeah, I hate that shit. It's like, 
I get it if someone's doing it facetiously, like I'll still wince, but you know. She called you Aubrey. I call you Aubrey. Your mother yeah. calls you Aubrey. That is an intimate thing going on. She's just I'm shot. just like, please pull out a gun and just shoot and it. just shoot this bitch. End it end it right now. See, I But you know, that's not what happened. Obviously that's not what yeah. happened. Because it's Drake. He's soft. It's twelve minutes long. He's soft and it's twelve minutes long. <laughs> no, no, but here's the thing. Narrative that, be speaking. That girl doesn't show up for the rest of the yeah. fucking thing. You know you know what I love, and this kinda sound odd, but uh narrative pacing and shit where it's like have you seen Fargo? No. Episode one, the wife dies. <laughs> Like he kills that wife, episode one. If you haven't seen episode one of a seven-year-old show, eat a dick. But uh, shit, is that really seven years old? It's it's pretty old. I want to say it's like twenty twelve, so Damn. it might just be five. But he shoots the wife, like episode one, right. <laughs> and then it's like uh, that's that's what the show revolves around. I would have loved if like he shot the bitch like minute two of the video. <laughs> And then the rest of it's like the fallout of having shot her. Just like, ooh, I killed that bitch. Ooh, ooh, I killed that bitch. And then like uh. the last, the last like six seconds of the video, it's like a zoom out from his eye, and he's just staring at her while she just keeps smacking her fist into her hand and clapping. <laughs> so he didn't actually kill her. He just yeah. fa- the whole music video was him fantasizing about killing her. Yeah, so and yeah. then getting away with it. I, I think that I, I could do like you know music video directing. I think that that would be like my 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 niche. That would be that you'd consider that your forte. Yeah, like because I your Matt Forte. Oh, so huh. he's a running back for the Bears. Uh, n- not anymore. I sounded like a fucking Aboriginal soundtrack right there. He might be, to be honest with you. I don't. I don't like Colts. Matt Forte. I'm gonna call Colts if he's not in the Bears. Oh, he is he a what, Jet? Really? Check his. Wow. Yeah, he was the Bears in 2015. Yeah. Well, I'm upset. I, I didn't, didn't know that. I uh, picked him up. Oh. Gonna be dropping him. Yeah, fuck the Jets, though, man. That that franchise is so fucked. We're, we're not gonna He's talk day football Day-to-day with but... hamstring. Yeah, well, when we get into football season, I'm sure we'll do plenty of that. Yeah. But right now, what it's time for is uh, our very first... Our very first... Uh, 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 what's a segment? Yeah. Segment for the podcast we're gonna do. Called advice from assholes. Uh, uh, this is a section of the podcast where we're going to talk about uh, just a random advice column submission, mm-hmm. uh, or if somebody wants to, you know, ask literally ask mm-hmm. us for advice, uh, we'll feel like a little bit less assholes, but we're probably still going to give assholeish responses. Yeah. So, if you submit, uh, you know, a question or you ask us for advice, do so at your own risk. Because don't uh, follow it. Yeah, because we're not. We're, this isn't a serious thing. We're not really trying to improve anybody's life. We're just trying to have fun and sort of, you know, derive pleasure from the misery of others. Shade and fun. What? Uh, shade and fun. Uh, the, shade the, throwing. Yes, got gotcha. you. <laughs> yes, yes. But it's a, it's just the German word for that phrase. Oh. It it gets incorporated a lot. Uh, I, I only know it because my English teacher senior year used to be the German teacher. I would just say masochism. Yeah, yeah, sadomasochism or, or sadism. I don't, I don't know what's the proper term. Kind of be on both, right? Right. So, so for this week, uh, we have we have a dear Abby submission. I don't know if I should have said that actually. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, anyways, <laughs> the the submission says, "I am 64. When I was an insecure 15 year old, I liked showing off to my two best friends. We often made fun of other kids behind their backs. With them, my smart mouth got me attention I craved." One day, I slipped up and whispered something too loudly. The girl heard what I said about her, and the stricken look on her face told me how much it hurt. Oh, fuck. I looked for her at our 20th reunion, wanting to apologize, but she was absent. I wish I could take back what I said, but I can't. However, I've spent the last 49 years trying to be kind to others to make up for it. There are people out here, there who read your column who remember a stinging remark that was aimed at them. Please let them know that some of us regret it very much. I hope they find forgiveness so they can be free of bitterness and hurt. I am truly sorry. Here's my thing. You're 64 fucking years old. Here's my thing. What the fuck is the question? What is this? That is being fair. Asking? Like, is she is she asking to be validated or? I, I, I honestly have to assume that that's it. Because like I, you know, I've I've done this. You know, I've been in this position where it's like you said something, the person heard it, and yeah. you're like, "Fuck you, I'm in it, asshole." Or you're uh, like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." Oh, I, I, usually, I when that happens, that. I'm I'm very forthcoming. Because it's like you know me. If I'm saying something behind someone's back. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm usually pretty comfortable telling them um, obviously you know, there are some examples where it's like 
Uh, I'm not going to tell them because I don't mean it in like a serious way. Or like you say something mm. negative about somebody and you're like, but that is also true about me. Yeah, yeah. And it's like... But like that person only hears the, the, the negative part about them. Yeah. And then they're like... <gasps> yeah, yeah. It's like there, there are times where it's like I'll say something about someone else and I'll, I'll preface it. Because whenever, whenever I do say something harsh or mean... 90% of the time I preface it with like this is either also true about me or this isn't something I actually have a problem with but right, it's something right. that yeah well the way I look at it is like you're 15 years old uh, yeah. I don't think I would really take anything to heart anybody that or anything that anybody said to me at 15 mm -hmm. uh, I probably wouldn't take even like really heinous actions towards me uh, that personal unless it was like super serious yeah. shit but like, at least to like seventeen, eighteen years old, you yeah. you know you're you're a young, dumb fucking kid that think you know everything. Because I, I mean, looking back on it now, it's easy to say, you know, oh yeah, I was a dumb fucking kid. I thought yeah. I I was a smart mouth. You know, I I, I you know, chomped off at the bit as they yeah. say, a lot of times to probably people that I should have respected more, like authoritative figures. But yeah. uh, other times it was, you know, I've said things that. I, I look back and think, was I a bully? I was like, no, nah, because, you know, I was still friends with people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, even, even if I was, like, I said some mean shit, like, that's just, most of that was, you know, just, ah, ha, ha, mm -hmm. chumming around and shit like that, especially, like, playing football and stuff. Yeah. That was definitely a, a big part of it, you know, giving each other a hard time. Uh, but, like, there was never, like, a serious bullying thing. Uh, as far as I know, other than, like, girls. But, I mean, yeah. you, you can't really be like, hey, you stop doing that or I'm going to kick your ass to a girl. Oh, uh, you can't. It's uh, just you're going to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you can you can do anything. Yeah. I believe in you. <laughs> but there are consequences for actions. Yeah, and you don't want right, to... You don't want right, to incur... Wanna incur yeah, you don't want to incur those consequences yeah. whatsoever. Especially not, you know, your junior, your junior year of high school, you don't want yeah. to beat up some sophomore girl because uh, she said something that is completely out of line about another person. I think the only uh, time I've ever seen someone in high school say something and it's like, you you could openly tell they fucking regretted it. This one dude uh, broke up with his girlfriend and before he did it, before he did it, he he was talking to the guys in the locker room and he was like, so, you know, I fucked her in the ass, and we pause. We're waiting. We're, most of us around him are freshmen at this point. We, we haven't done the butt stuff. And he goes, and then poop came out on my dick, and I called it popcorn. And that's why I call her popcorn now, guys. And I was like, <laughs> like, you, you can see the confusion on my face. The audience at home, you can't. But imagine my... <laughs> My fucking facial expression when someone says some dumb, prolix shit like this. And then he breaks up with his girlfriend like a week later, and we're talking about it to him, and he's like, yeah, no, I didn't say that. It's like, yeah, you did, though, because, you know, you said you did the thing, and you called it popcorn, and he's like, no, well, no, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't do that, I did not for real do that. And it's like, are you just here so you don't get fined? <laughs> or, like, what's, like, what's going on, man? And it's like... Uh, I talked to him one day about it. He's like, yeah, man, I, I apologize. Like, immediately after, like, I went home, and I was like, hey, girl, I'm sorry. And I was like, uh, okay. But uh, joke's on him. Uh, she came to our friend's house with a pregnancy scare, like, two days later. That's hilarious. You can't get pregnant from butt stuff, so obviously it happened yeah. from another uh, 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 incident of them being intimate. Uh, but I think the, the lesson to be derived from, uh, <laughs> well... <laughs> this this advice, Colin's submission, and also Duke's horrific story about his uh, <laughs> high school life, uh, is that kids are kids. kids. Are kids. They yeah. do shit that they, do they real don't mean, shit. especially just trying to impress one another. Yeah, like I can't tell so, you how many times. One time I asked Corbin, uh, you know Corbin, he's he's a longtime friend of mine, and uh, in high school I was like, I, I don't know, I don't know what thought is. He was listening to Adele. I had just gotten a girlfriend at the time, and I was like, Corbin, are you gay? So, so, do you think that the you had just gotten a girlfriend thing at the time was just like, I'm allowed to do that? It's like, and I am secure enough in my sexuality because I have a girlfriend. I can accuse people of being gay. No, it was like he was listening to Adele, like so real you, sad. Okay, Adele. okay. So you were, you were, you were like, okay, this guy's listening to a girl singer. He must be a gay. No, he was listening to like uh, "Set Fire to the Rain." 
And I was like, that's such like a, a mournful song. And I was like, fuck, is Corbin gay? And so I, I talked to him and he looks at me and he goes, don't fucking talk to me ever again. <laughs> I was like, that's a fair response. Yeah, and I was like, no, that's really that, that's that's a, like a very uh, accusatory thing, especially for uh, high school boys. To be fair, I phrased it real gently. Did you? What I said was, "Hey, Corbin, uh, I know this is none of my business, and you can you know tell me to fuck off if you want, but uh, you know I was thinking, are you homosexual or anything?" <laughs> And, no, uh, <laughs> you, that's no. You didn't. You weren't gentle about that whatsoever. I, I led into it real slowly. You, no, you. Oh my God, you but hit I, him with a pitch. You, you. That was an intentional <laughs> walk right there. That was an intentional. Fu- that was a flagrant personal foul. <laughs> if I've ever heard of one, holy shit, dude. But then we had a. Oh my God. So the last thing before I say we segue off this is we had a bet going that got me in trouble you, senior year. Um, you and who? Corbin. Corbin. Oh, so he actually talked to you like immediately after that. Yeah, yeah. We, we were friends throughout high school after like right. freshman year. So we, we had a bet going from freshman year to senior year whether or not our friend was gay. And the, the bet wasn't really whether or not, but when he would come out. Right. I think I had my money on uh, right after high school. Corbin had his money on uh, if he went to college or joined the military. Right. Uh, like a month into that. Because we were like, oh, you know, don't ask them until it's going to be gone by then, and it was. And then uh, our friend, <laughs> our friend Alex, our friend Alex had the bet of before high school ends, right. which wasn't going to happen. His family was super Christian, no fucking way. So uh, we were talking about it one day in senior year, because we are like, Alex, you already fucking lost. Unless he comes out in like the next two fucking months, you know, you're fucked. And he's like, dude, fuck you. And I was like, look, Alex, the point of the matter is, He's fucking super homo, and he's going to hide it till he leaves. And Frau, our English teacher, uh, looks at me. She's the one who taught German, too. And <laughs> That's, do they know immediately who you're talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frau looks at me, and she goes, are you talking about uh, name, you know, so-and-so? And I was like, yeah. And she said, you know he's not around. And I was like, yeah. And, she said, and what are you saying about him? And I told her. <laughs> In the middle of class, I told her. And she, she looks at me for a minute, and it's like, she gave me the out. I could have said fucking anything. I could have said, oh, you know, we're just wondering if he's going to be here tomorrow, or this, this, and this. Uh, no, I was like, we're, we're betting on when he comes out. If he's going to return his library books. <laughs> yeah. And she looks at me, she goes, go to the, go to the office. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you, as a teacher, what else do you fucking say there? She yelled at me, there, I'm sure. There were three times where I've yeah. had a bet. Uh, two of them... Uh, well, I, I, that have had a bet of similar circumstances. Two of them have been resolved. One is yet to be resolved because a friend of my sister's, who I am uh, 100% sure, uh, is a homosexual. Okay. Uh, but the two of them, it was uh, brothers of friends of mine. Okay. Uh, and both of them, I was like, you know, we, we were like, your brother's definitely gay. They'll come out <laughs> either before the end of high school or after, you know, after graduation. Uh, both of them ended up doing it before graduation. Yeah. But w- one did so in a rather ceremonious fashion where uh, he was caught, well, him and one of the teachers was caught sexting oh. one another. Yeah, the, wait, the wait. band director. That's how he came out as gay? That's how people found out that he was actually gay. So it was a male band director. Yeah. Oh, Fuck. Okay, go on. That that yeah, was Yeah, it wasn't he was sexting a female band director. It was like, that was just playing around. I'm gay. No, yeah. it was it was a guy. And uh they were exchanging pictures. He was a married man, a married ba- male band director. Dude, there there was this girl uh, at my school. Um I actually met her while trying to wingman for my friend. Uh, I think I told you that story, but that's unrelated. So, after I graduated, uh, a new tech teacher came in. She's at a grade below me. He lasts for fucking all but the last month of the year. He was fucking that girl. Whole time. Fucking straight from the go. Like, she came to him one day, and she was talking to him, and she was like, you know, hey, I need help with this personal issue, and then they fucking. Uh, so, he, he's like 26. She was like 17. And it, it is one of those things where it's like, if it were outside of the school context and she were 18, fuck it, you know, whatever. But turns out she gets him fired 
Because her parents found out. Ooh, I wonder how that that could have happened. Yeah, and then... Uh, and we saw that coming. Yeah, so he gets fired, and then a First long, year on the job. Yeah, and a court case comes out for years, right? She wasn't allowed to talk about this forever. I shouldn't know about this. <laughs> legally speaking, I yeah, Legally know speaking, I, I, I should not know about this, and I do not know about this. But, uh... <laughs> so... Anyway, listen. If you if somebody broke a non-disclosure agreement yeah. and told you something, I don't think that you're held to that, that non-disclosure yeah. agreement. I didn't sign shit. Yeah, that they can't get you on nothing. Plus, they're married now. I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's the, a that's a huh. Part of the result. That's a twit. So th- the court case ended up. It was like her parents were still in disapproval, but she turned 18 during the proceedings. So it was like she was able to she make like, her Fuck own... you, mom and dad. I love him. Yeah, so it was like she was able to make her own decisions, but he still broke the law. Yeah. So it was one of those things Flagrantly. where... Flagrantly. Yeah, it was a very weird result. Fragrantly. And this is the Fragrantly. weirdest... Yeah, this is the weirdest court case result I know of. Uh, in order to resolve it, they got married. So that he wouldn't go to jail. He was still put on, like, probation, and I think he's still a sex offender. Well... But he didn't go to jail. Yeah. He took advantage of a minor. Yeah. Whether you marry that minor or not, you still took advantage of a minor yeah. while they were a minor. So that that's how that shook out. And that was the that's the weirdest shit I've ever seen in court other than my own life. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention uh how I know this person or or their name because yeah. obviously, you know, I don't, I don't wanna put their shit out there. Yeah. Uh even though this is sort of defending them. But uh somebody that I know mm-hmm. uh was 17 dating a 17 year old girl mm-hmm. and for some reason this was you know back in I guess the 80s yeah it had to have been the 80s uh, because of the guy's age uh, but he was dating this girl mm-hmm. and as soon as he turned 18 this girl's parents reported him for uh, dating an underage girl mm-hmm. so he's been struck even though he was married to this girl for 20 years after mm-hmm. you know after the fact He's registered as a sex offender. Yeah. Because uh, his ex-wife's mama didn't like him very much. Well, uh, this one guy Matt knows, uh, our roommate Matt, uh, he actually was dating a girl and he turned 18. And the mom took naked photos of the girl that he was dating. What? On the girl's phone and then sent them to the guy and then reported him to the police. So were the naked pictures on the phone or was the the guy the, the the girl the girl's mom, mom was used, like get naked took pictures of yeah, her okay so what the that. fuck is wrong with you yeah so Holy because shit. The, because it was a guy right the news ran wild with it right you now this is the south they're like oh this guy's a sex offender blah 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 turns out in court uh, no he's not uh, because the mom solicited young <laughs> photos of her underage daughter but no one like there was nothing in the news about that one so everyone if you look up his name and I'm not going to say it thinks oh yeah you mentioned that before yeah. and it's tragic it's fucked up it's like don't get me wrong there are a lot of guys who do stupid fucked up shit like that and they really should go to jail and be punished and castrated and all that shit <laughs> castrated but uh <laughs> there there comes a point where we have to take responsibility as mediators and look objectively at who is and isn't a victim. Right. Well, see, that's not what you do as a news station if yeah. you want people to watch the news. You want you want the shock value. You want people to check back in to see what the fuck's going to go. You want people to be outraged, which is why, you know, in the with the outrage culture shit going on, mm-hmm. it's like, it's why 24-hour news stations are bigger than fucking ever. Because yeah. everybody's at each other's fucking throats about shit that, that doesn't actually matter. Uh, mm-hmm. That they're distracted from shit that does matter. Yeah. Like there, there's like you know a Saudi Arabian weapons deal or yeah, or other fucking, things. I don't want to get political. But after this, after the podcast, I want I do want to talk to you about something political because I I laughed at it real fucking hard. Um. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I think you'll get a kick out of it is what I'm saying. But. Okay. There, there's just so much shit like 24 hour services you know news stations even like some like you know it, websites don't, don't get me wrong I, I absolutely love 
that that's the the era that we're living in. Yeah, that, that we, we can we, we we can do shit like we sit here, we do this podcast, we upload it to YouTube, and within a couple hours, fucking anybody could watch it. Literally anybody with internet access could watch this podcast. They're not going to. Yeah. Historically speaking, a handful of people might watch yeah. this. I just need to step up advertising. That's what I need to do. Uh, I mean, if we did any at all, that would be awesome. Yeah, we uh, we were supposed to have like a meeting about it. Right. But... We we've been actually on uh, a a week and a half hiatus at this point. Yeah. Uh, because of we lost a bunch of footage again because of a uh, stammer uh, the footage stammering. Yeah. It's and, and it's not a it's not a problem that I can fix anymore. It's it's quite literally my processor slash graphics card. The parts of my computer are so old. Yeah. Uh, that it, they're they're deteriorating. Uh, eventually they'll need replaced, obviously. Uh, but it's just games that I used to be able to record, I can no longer record. Mm-hmm. Which is strange. So have you been wondering the dark secrets? Uh, the, the inner workings of Smashbox are, are finally coming out in this tell-all yeah. podcast. Uh, yeah. yeah, Gaza's computer's broke as fuck. Uh, Duke's laptop uh, is a laptop. Yeah. So that's not really an... an uh, of, the, uh, another option that we have. I think the best thing we, we could do on a serious note is we could do more console based stuff. Yeah, but that would be weird. Because my computer records the PS4 show really well. Like at 60 FPS. Right. But that, that would also put us on like a money budget. Right. Well, that and uh, well, there's more there's more chances of things going wrong. Because yeah. we, well, one, we'd have to do the audio sync. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, obviously, I'd have to transfer the footage from your computer to my hard drive mm-hmm. to my hard drive. There's or my so external, much. Yeah. My external hard drive uh, from my external hard drive to my computer. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I've had I've lost shit on that external hard drive before just because somebody accidentally uh, not ejecting. Uh, I don't even remember if it was me or not. Uh, I, I think you told me once, I don't think it was. I think it was one of your brothers or something. Yeah. Or maybe your mom pulled it out or your dad. Or I something. don't know. It, it, people used to borrow it without asking me and just use it for whatever the fuck. Like, mm. like I, I, I literally was only using it. I had PDFs of uh, Batman comics on it, and I was pretty much just using it to reread a bunch of my favorite Batman comics. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then one day I get on, and it's like, hey, your Batman comics are corrupted. I'm like, that's weird. I was like... But it was also weird that my hard drive was not tucked away where it normally is. It was just sitting on my desk whenever I came in my room. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, obviously somebody used it. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, whoever last used my hard drive, you, you fucked, fucked me. Up. You fucked me because it literally had all of my shit from high school that I ever did. All of my video editing work, all my video editing projects. Like, stuff that I was proud of that I can't get back. Yeah, Mediafire did that to me. Well, I, I mean... Different stories, but... Yeah. But yeah, shit. We're we're just in a weird era, I think, where we have like yeah. all this. Like we we don't watch TV anymore, right? Like we, we don't well, turn I mean, on the cable box. But yeah. we have fucking. We watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, but we we've got shit like you know. Wait, got, did, no, we didn't watch the Super Bowl. We watch we watch playoff games. Though. Yeah, we did watch playoff games. But uh, I we've got shit like Verve and Netflix and fucking yeah. Hulu. Which and, Verve is quickly becoming my favorite. By oh way. yeah, I'm loving it. They're they're pulling all kinds of content that I love to see and pulling it out, not pulling it off. Yeah. Where it's like it's one of those things where it's like I I'm happy to see like Mabim Bam and anime and. Yeah. Well, that's what's so cool about me is like because I was super pissed off for a long time. It's like Crunchyroll has the most recent anime, Funimation has anime dubbed. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of shit that I will wait for it to get dubbed yep. therefore Funimation is the way to go but there's other shit where it's like I just want to watch it as soon as it's fucking available yeah. like One Punch Man so I watched One Punch Man on Crunchyroll yeah. now I was at the time I had a job I you know I had wasn't paying bill I was paying literally a hundred dollars a month to stay with my parents mm-hmm. uh well, that's obviously not counting times where it's like my dad's like, hey, give me money. Yeah. Hey, I'm buying something, which is code for you're giving me money because mm-hmm. if you don't, I'm going to threaten to kick you out because I'm your dad and that's what I do. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Dad politics aside, yeah. not to get political again. About my, about my, <laughs> dad uh, I'm so anti this is this is that disadablishment. Disadablishmentarianism. Yeah, I'm 
I was trying to make a dumb joke. It was a dumb joke. Then my chair clicked real loud when I turned in it, so now it's now it's double bad. Now it's dead. You killed it. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> if only we could kill your dad. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's any like health insur or life insurance money that I'd be coming into. A little bit of satisfaction. I mean, I, I did ghost him recently. Yeah. I'm not going to talk about that. But you, you, we, all, we all have that one person who's like, we want to fucking kill him. Well, you know. I I guess. Like, do you, are, are you telling me there's no one on earth where you've just sat there, the, like the last time you talked to him, you were just thinking, I really wish this person was fucking dead. Not, not earnestly, but at least like. Nobody that I've talked to, I don't think I could seriously wish death upon them. Because most of the people that I know that suck, mm -hmm. it's like I also know that things aren't really working out for them how they would like to, and that's mm -hmm. that's good enough for me. There's one guy. There's that one guy? Well, two people. Oh. Less than seven. <laughs> there are less than seven <laughs> so you people. Have, you know, there's a, there's a, a, a list of people here yeah. uh -huh. that you would like to not exist anymore. Yeah. Okay, I'm hoping you don't name any names. No, I'm not gonna name because any. Because if any of those people die, then after you name their names, oh, one of them, you are die. not not by me. I'm not gonna be killing them. Okay, so that leaves only the, like they're terminally ill, and you're wishing death old. upon them. I don't okay. discriminate. That's I don't discriminate based on age, hatred, right. hatred. Okay. They're like they're, there's this are, one. Are person. you gonna say anything inflammatory about the elderly community? Uh, at large, no. This, this specific elderly person? Hell yes. Are you going to offend elderly people? No. Right. I, I believe I, I can do want, it safely. I just don't want the NARP coming after us. Right. The, the heat. <laughs> but uh, there's... Is the NAARP? No. It's, it's the Na NARP, right? I, I think so. I, National, I National Association of Retired Persons. Yeah, I, I stuttered when I said it because I was laughing. Right. Well, I, I was trying to figure out in my head which one it is. I was like, because I know it's the NAACP. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. And I'm pretty sure it's just NARP. Yeah. But, uh, so there's, there's one person at work, right? Falls asleep on students. All the time. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. yeah you know, like, immediately. Yeah, you, yeah, you told, well, well, because you've bitched about her before. Yeah. But, uh, falls asleep. the only reason I know about her. Yeah, falls asleep on students constantly. You know what happened today? Some student needed help sending an email. And she couldn't help. Came her. to the wrong person for that, yeah. Yeah. So, well, one, how are, how old is the student? Uh, twenty. Her age. Okay. Well, you should know how to send a fucking yeah. email at twenty years old. She she needed to know. Uh, you literally need to know how to use email to get into colleges. I thought. Yeah, she needed to use a, an email to attach like a paper to a, an instructor because uh, the online submission wasn't working, and by wasn't working, I mean she didn't know how to work it. So not only does this this colleague of mine fail to show her how to properly use the online submission tool, right? Because she's a hundred, yeah, and thirty four. Uh, she fails to show her how to use an email, and she comes and gets right me. because she's a hundred and thirty four. Yeah. So at this point, I want to I want to paint this picture. I'm working with four students at once. When she walks in and says, "Hey, Duke, I need you to help me send an email." Did you laugh at her? <laughs> I, I did. I won't lie to you. I laughed. Uh, I thought she was kidding. You're like, ma'am, I'm jerking four dicks at once over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm working. Unless four. you're gonna grab two shafts, leave <laughs> me alone. Yeah, and it's like I, I, I was like, <laughs> and it's like, no, for real, I need you to help me do this. And I was like, <laughs> what? And so you know, I, I tell the students, so I'm like, literally, how? I was like, this is what I did. I did the age-old teacher trick: pass your paper one person to the right, and I'll be right back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, there was a similar situation I worked when I was working at a grocery store, at the grocery store I worked at. Yeah. Other than Walmart, I worked at Walmart. It wasn't that bad? Okay, there I said it. Walmart, not the worst place to work. Yeah. Actually, enjoyed my time there. Uh, but the the little mom and pop store I worked for, there was this uh, the guy. He was he wasn't the beer and wine manager when I started, mm -hmm. but he was when I left. Right. Don't know if he still is now, and certainly after spending a few weeks there and sort of pointing out, hey, this shit, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that they, they were like, hey, this guy's fucked up. But that's not here. He would like he would do ignorant shit like, hey, can you help me do this? I was like, that's a one man job. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but I can't. I was just like, well, just fucking leave. I'll take care of it, bud. 
Because guess what? We don't need two people for this. Yeah. Well, will you help me get this to... I will do it myself. You can fuck off. Like, learn to do it when you Have a good day. Yeah. It's like... There, there's a difference between asking someone, like, to help you because you need to learn. And right. asking someone to help you because it's like you're inept. Well, here's the thing. It was very minor manual labor. So it was like it didn't matter. Right. It was... It was these plastic ass pallets that his beer would come in on. Yeah. They're light as shit. Yeah. He needed help taking them outside. I was like, these are the light pallets. Like, what are you going to do? Literally, how? Heavy one? He, he doesn't, they don't come in on heavy, they don't come in on wooden pallets. But God forbid if he ever had, if somebody asked him to do that, because he would fucking die. There's, he used the excuse that he was old. He turned uh, forty. He turned forty while I was there. There was one guy. One of my students came in, and this is this is what happens, right? We're we're in the office. I've told you this off podcast before, but we're we're in the office, and he's like, "So what what do I need to do to get this paper in and get an A?" And I was like, "Well, uh, needed to turn it in two weeks ago." I was like, "Well, you would need to do this, this, and this, and I would probably also bring it to another tutor after you do that to double check." And he's like, "Huh?" And I was like, "What?" And he goes, "I ain't fucking doing that." And he just walks out. <laughs> he goes, "I ain't fucking doing that," and he walks out. And then, uh... You don't want an A that bad. Yeah, and he, he came back in like two weeks you, later. You, sir, don't even sound like you want a B. You seem like a C- minus might be overachieving for you. Dude, he, he came in like two weeks later and he was like, Hey, I need you to sign this to say I was in here. And I was like, but you weren't. And he's like, yeah, I was. I came in that one day. And I was like, yeah, and you said you didn't want to do anything. And I'm not, I'm not signing this saying you literally walked through the door. Like, you gotta, you gotta set up like an appointment and do work and actually try and then last I heard of him he got kicked out of college because they found out he didn't have a high school diploma <laughs> nice so, yeah so was, wicked working that long con yeah uh, I, <laughs> lying about a GED I laughed uh, real hard because <laughs> it, it got that's, me that, that's the that's what you want to shoot for you're going to lie about a G. I assume he lied about a GED because I assume gonna, because they'll ask for a diploma yeah they should have asked for a GED as well. Though. Yeah, cause but I faked. G- I I shouldn't say that. <laughs> what? That I faked GEDs. <laughs> Wait, why? Because I, I was thirteen. I knew yeah. how to use Photoshop, and somebody needed a fake GED to so get a job. Them up. So I, while well, I was sort of extorted into hooking them up, oh, I didn't God. know it was bad at the time. Looking back, like holy fuck, could I get in a lot of trouble for yeah, that? Yeah, holy shit, could I be fucked? But I mean, the person didn't even end up applying for the job, so it didn't matter. Yeah. So I just made a fake GED. They printed it for nothing. Yeah. If they even printed it. I don't know. Send them a PDF. Out of my hands at that point. Yeah. I, uh, I, the thing that It's not on my computer anymore, so it's like, eh. yeah. Didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. The. Don't know where they got it, officer. <laughs> Wasn't me. Now, see, you know what pissed me off lately? Uh, it's about work. What's that? People, people come in. Right. And they're like. Oh, yeah, that's the worst when they just come in. Yeah, it's like they come in. It's like in there. <laughs> I'm sorry to cut you off, oh, but I used to work with a guy. He's like, I hate when people come in here and just get all their fucking groceries. We, <laughs> we work at a grocery store, bud. <laughs> so that's that's, the that's point. what we're here for. <laughs> but I, I say the people who they 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 sit they sit down right and they hand me a pen and they pass the paper to me, and I look at them and I pass the paper back and I pass the pen back, and they look at me and they pass it back to me. It's like... Well, they're trying to get you to sign off on they were there? They're trying to sign off on two things. One, that they were there. And two, they want me to edit their whole fucking paper for them. I'm there to teach you how to, one, speak the fucking language you grew up speaking. And two... Grew up speaking. (laughs) And two, uh, how to do this shit yourself. I'm so you here. don't have to come back here. Yeah, I'm here I, to make my own job obsolete. That's right. what I'm doing. That's my right. fucking end goal. If I can teach you how to do this shit so you don't need me, I have succeeded as a human being. That is my job. Really, you could be replaced by uh, a sheet of paper saying, use Google Docs. They'll literally fix all the shit that's wrong yeah. with your paper for you. It's like... If you let them. Yeah, it's like, I could be replaced by like a fucking check... I'm sorry, I, I did the white girl smack thing. But, Several uh, times, yeah. and then again. That that your... time, I was putting my hand out. Right, just a lot louder than. Yeah, because I was angry. Damn it! <laughs> I'm always gonna notice it, but uh, it it really pisses me <laughs> off. <laughs> he just crossed his arms to keep himself from doing the white girl clap. <laughs> it, it just pisses me off because like, they come in and they expect me to do their whole thing for them, and I'm like, look, I've written these papers fucking five or six times, right? Like I, I've done this class. 
I have helped other people through this class. I have helped my friends through this class. You get paid to help people through the class. Yes, but like you're you're not getting anything out of it. They're not yeah. getting anything out of you doing all the work except for obviously a grade. But and the, see that that's that's a problem with like the educational system to begin with. Like I, I don't believe that you can educate another person. You can indoctrinate another person because all you can do is give them a side of information. Like this is this is what happened from this perspective. And then you have to think to yourself, okay, what of that is believable? What of that might have been? Because, uh, you know, to the victor, you know, the spoils of war, that also, you get to decide, this is how shit happened. Mm-hmm. What's more believable? That World War One was started by the Germans, or that the Germans fought, shot back, but just because they lost, people are like, eh, you started it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because reading all the stuff, it looks a lot like uh, the Germans were like, "You killed our dude." And we're gonna uh, Austria Hungary is like, "So fucking do something, faggot." <laughs> yeah, fucking and then do it. and then Germany it. did, and then the we're rest like, of no, the, world, the rest of the world was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" And then there was a lot mm. of fighting, shooting, bang bang, he shot me down, and uh, uh, Germany dude. lost, so yeah. we crashed their dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we crashed the Reichsmark. Yeah, that's 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 yeah. about that's about the. The, the, the timeline of events, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't think any of that's inaccurate. Uh, no, that's actually pretty accurate. So but, I'm, but I mean, you can't, you can, you can, like, it, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. Yeah. You can indoctrinate somebody, but you cannot educate them. They have to, yeah. they have to educate themselves. They have to be open to be educated. Yeah. And, you know, they have to fucking think. They, the best example I have for this is every single uh, reading assignment we had in high school. Oh. Where we had the the circle discussion, yeah. where it's like we read the chapter. Okay, what happened in the chapter? Well, here's a summary of the events that happened in the chapter. Okay, what does that mean? Crickets. Silence. Well, I think that this was symbolism for. Well, I actually uh, we read some short story, where it was like, I can't remember uh, what the exact context of it. It was like an elderly woman, and magically a, a girl appears. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, a, a, a small girl appears in her house. This is obviously something supernatural going on. Mm-hmm. This isn't just a little girl wandered into her house. Uh, but even the teacher was taking it for face value. I was like, you're teaching ninth grade en- enriched English, granted at a public high school yeah. in the middle of nowhere, Ohio, but you're teaching enriched English. Mm-hmm. You should know that. What you see isn't always what you get, and especially whenever I'm like, "Hey, I think that that might be like she might be like symbolic of death," and then go see the author's notes or like she's an angel of death. I'm like, "Yeah, I was right." Like, no, it's just a little girl. It's just it's just a little girl. The woman's lonely. The the girl symbolizes loneliness, if anything. I like the the trout mouth you did. But uh, I, I so one of my favorite things about where I work is that one of the instructors. Her, her biggest, most point-cost-worthy assignment for people is you show up and you have a 30-minute face-to-face just discussion. With and, her? or Yeah, with her. And other people can join in, too. It's so like, let's say that I'm sitting in the room and the student comes in for the assignment. I can, I can participate. But the whole point of that assignment is to assess whether or not the student understands and can re- like relate that material to stuff. Like, one, one, one example... A student came in, and uh, his assignment had been the same as mine, which was modernism at the time. And uh, fucking modernists. Yeah. So his, the first question he gets asked is, "What do you think of T.S. Eliot?" And so he lists off a whole bunch of poems, and she's like, "No, I don't." God, do you not know how to talk to people? No. I, what do you think of him? Like, do you like his stuff? Do you think it sucked? Do you think other people are better than him? What What is your point of comparison here? Who else did you look at? And so he lists off names again, and she goes, okay, now is maybe me putting words in your mouth, maybe me forcing you to talk, but that's the point. Do you have one you prefer over the other? And this kid just wasn't getting it. And this went on, and she gave him a zero. And the next kid comes in, same group, but smarter kid. You can tell he's the one who did all the work. And she's like, okay, so what do you think of T.S. Eliot? And he goes, oh, I don't think he's as good as this, this, or this, and I think that this poem he did uh, is great for this reason. And she's like, okay. She did some reading, and he's like, yeah. And she goes, now, what is an opinion you hold that I can't find on the internet? And he gave her one, so he got a fucking A. 
It's like if you come in and you can give us something new or something that is obvious that you've been looking at, right? And actually considering, you get an A. And she'll, she's she's like willing to rehold it. It's not one of those things where you can only do it once. You fucked up, so I mean, bye. Yeah, it's like you can come back and try it again or you know something like that. But it's just it's so it's so frustrating to see a student come in and then they they just say like a list of names. It's like well, you yeah. didn't learn anything. I, I would have. And not all of my high school English teachers sucked. Actually, uh, the other two, three that I had, sorry. I was leaving out one because she left the year after I had her, which sucks because I, I almost took an AP English course. And if I would have, I would have got stuck in with, guess who, my ninth grade enriched English course teacher. Mm. And that would have made me shoot somebody. Probably her and or myself. But, mm. uh, yeah, like after after the first semester, uh, when she wanted to, where I got an F because I was literally unable to carry my uh, book project to school because I had broken my leg and was operating on a pair of crutches. Uh, I rode the bus and I you know both yeah. of my parents worked. I can't just like, hey, you want to drop me off at school at four thirty in the morning with my book project to stand out in the snow because it's the middle of winter. Yeah. Uh, I got an F in that, and it was, both of my parents were like, how the fuck do you have an F in English, right? And it's like, well, I mean, I gave you the reason why. I have a book project that, well, it was thrown away after it was unable to be turned in because the semester ended. Mm. Uh, but I, at a certain point, I was just like, she's not understanding the shit that we're reading beyond a basic point. Mm. Why am I going to try? Why am I gonna yeah. over, over? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, overachieve? No. Well, I mean, kind of overachieving. But why am I gonna over evaluate mm -hmm. the the material? Why am I not just gonna go? Well, skim the the three pages we were supposed to read, because for some reason that was a reading assignment mm -hmm. uh, for a night. So I'm gonna skim the three pages. And have nothing to say on it because all it's required is that I read it. And if she asks me a question about what happened, I can tell her. Because this is public school. And apparently that's all you need to know. Yeah, what, what I would do in high school is I'd read the book we got the day we got it. And then I wouldn't touch it again. Right. Well, I, I didn't have any books that I was really that interested in that I did that with. Uh, honestly, the only redeeming thing, and this isn't even that redeeming uh, looking back on it because, again the whole taking things at face value thing it was just we both enjoyed a book mm -hmm. I borrowed a book from her uh, because the cover looked uh, interesting and I judge books by cover because everybody fucking does yeah I, don't, I, don't, I never got that piece of advice yeah I, I read the back synopsis I'm like this sounds interesting I like dystopian uh, not so distant future kind of shit this was a dystopian not so distant future kind of thing I read it. She was like, oh, I didn't even notice you had that. Well, what did you think about that? And I was just like, well, I mean, you don't care what I think. You want me to regurgitate the information. It's like, oh, I thought that was interesting. That made me sad. That's what she wanted to hear. It's like, I thought that, you know, the allusions to abortion in this book were, were very stunning. And I can, you know, as somebody who is pro-choice, it sort of made me see the other side it's like this is pretty much what you're doing but at the same time it's totally different because you know harvesting somebody's organs at 18 years old is kind of just a fucked up thing to do yeah. it's a little bit different than carrying that baby or not carrying the baby yeah. to term there there's there, I, I don't usually you know get political there and there, there's only one time where i've sat down and someone who's pro-life well here here's my thing uh i'm only pro-choice mm -hmm. because it's literally not any of my business. Yeah. I, I cannot get pregnant. It's none of my business. I shouldn't be able to tell you one way or another. No, that's my standpoint, too. Um, but there, there's only one time where I sat down and I've seen someone who's uh, pro-life, and they, they've made a point where I've been like, you know what? I, I get your side. I still don't agree with you, but I, I understand. Right. Uh, but it's like, it was just a really heartfelt speech. I don't think I could find it today, but it was uh, some dude, like a senator or something, give a really great speech I, I i'm a sucker for good orators. it was a man yeah so that that did kind of cheat that that part on that particular topic uh it doesn't matter what he said no yeah. well he, he was speaking from experience like his wife had uh been thinking about it earlier in the year 
and uh, he related like what she went through, and he was like, "Everybody, you're everybody has regrets. Yeah, everybody has regrets. You're gonna have regret no matter what you do in life. You're gonna you're gonna look back on something and wish you could have done it differently or done it better because hindsight is twenty twenty. You're always gonna find hmm. something. I could have handled this differently. I could have handled that differently. I could have done this, and that situation might have changed. Uh, and it's real easy to do about shit that is like heavy shit like that, yeah. like." It's easy to look at breakups. It's easy to look at you, oh, you failed this test or mm-hmm. like shit that has an impact on you, uh, your life, like anything you're passionate about. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you lose a football game, you're gonna be running through everything every play every done. play in your head to think I should have done this, I should have mm-hmm. done that, I should have done the other thing. Uh, baseball, obviously the same. I shouldn't yeah. have swung at that. I swung at that. Uh, but uh, no matter what you do, as long as you're passionate about it. I think you're sort of forced to be passionate about whether or not you're going to kill the baby inside of you. So I, and I, I don't mean to make light of the situation, yeah. but y- there's going to be regrets there. Yeah, obviously, it's not, it's not going to be a pleasant procedure. Yep. I'm sure. And it's obviously there are some negative connotations that go with that. If you tell anybody you got an abortion, there's a chance that they're going to be judgmental. A, 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 you know, a pro-life nut. It's like you have no fucking right. Yeah. To blah 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 blah. You should have gave it up for adoption. It's just like, to me, it's like there are certain cases where you absolutely cannot deny somebody an abortion. Mm-hmm. Like, if it's gonna what, kill what, both of them, right? Louis C.K. has this joke. He's like, if you need an abortion, you should get an abortion. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, if you need an abortion, you better get an abortion. <laughs> And that and that's I'm like that that is exactly why you can't say no abortions because sometimes you literally need it. Yeah, it's a medical procedure. Some people literally need to have that done, or they and the baby will die. There, there's one thing I think it boils down to. Um, uh, in the words of Kierkegaard, my friendly advice is this: whether you do it or choose not to do it, you will regret both. You know, it's like if you're in a moment, like a serious crossroads. Well, I, I guess if you have a kid, mm-hmm. sure, sometimes it might suck, and you might be like, "Ah, oh, I wish I, I wish I had a Corvette instead yeah. of a kid." <laughs> uh, wish I had no to, kids and three money to, to do the to do the red foreman thing. Uh, I wanted a Corvette, but I got two kids instead. Yeah. Uh, gee, I wanted that Corvette, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you could you could regret it, but at the same time, um, there's fulfillment in having yeah. children. Obviously, there's a there's you're fulfilling a primal need, so there's obviously that fulfillment mm-hmm. at the very least. Uh, but I mean, if you have a kid and you're seeing them doing well, that's got to fill you with a sense of pride. On the other hand, if you have a kid and you neglect it and it dies, then you're just like, yeah, yeah I should have got that abortion. Huh? Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I shouldn't have dropped him off the second I needed, floor balcony. I needed an abortion. <laughs> I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's dead anyway. Like, fuck. And then we had to go through four years of this bullshit. What do you think is the cutoff for shit like that? On a very abortion? dark comedy. No, no, no. I mean, on, a, on the moment where it's like, this is fucked up. I was going to say 36 years old. Uh, at what moment do you think you're like, okay, my kids lived long enough. I am no longer going to feel bad if he dies. <laughs> like, feel feel guilt I, if he I dies. feel like at about the 13 to 14 year range, you're, yeah. you can start to sort of see, like, where the, where their trajectory is at, where yeah. they're going to land as a human being, and you'll just be like, it's really hands-off from here. He's in the public school system. He, anything I say is just going to push him further and further away from, yeah. you know, the light. And uh, at, at some point, you just got to hope he gives his life up to Jesus. Yeah, uh, never enough Jesus. As, as we all know. Uh, gosh dang. It's a, it's a joke, by the way. I mean, yeah. Not around here, it's not. <laughs> right, that's fair. That's fair. We live in the, the, the deep south. Yeah, we live in the Bible Belt. Uh, very deep in the Bible Belt. I think belt. it's ironic to call it that. Yeah. Bunch of fucking heathens that live around here, I'll tell you what. Oh my fuck, dude. Sometimes sometimes listening to people here talk about religion, it's like, why or, why would you worship this? It's like I, you know me. I'm a Christian. It's like you realize that if you believe that, that's in that stuff, and you know the hell thing, uh, and you continue doing the stuff that you are doing, you will go to hell. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how are you about to tell me you you believe in this stuff when ninety percent of your life is spent trying to pretend like you don't, like it doesn't exist. Right. 
Like, how are you about to be like, oh, well, you know, I think that anyone who drinks alcohol, they're, they're going to go to hell. And then you're a fucking alcoholic, Tom. You've been drinking for 30 fucking years. Tom, you're drunk right now. We were ranting about this. <laughs> Tom, you're drunk at the fucking podium. Come on. It's like... I, <laughs> is that church? You <laughs> pastor Tom, drunk at the podium. That sounds like a fucking comedy special. Adam Sandler is Pastor Tom Mackey. <laughs> I, I'd watch or listen to a comedy album called Pastor Tom Drunk at the Podium. <laughs> you know? Or like by Pastor Tom or whatever. Pastor but, Pastor Tom has just got a promotion. Meet Pope Thomas? If I can I tell you what? Drunk at the Pope though. If I ever did a stage name, it'd be Pastor Tom. I thinking about it now? That's a good fucking stage name. My fa- this is the favorite one I've seen. Uh, I don't know if this is this guy's birth name or not, but he followed me. I actually haven't seen him on Twitter. I hope he's okay. Is it Mike Mike Burb Mike Burb Mike Burb? <laughs> I'm friends with I'm actual friends with him on Facebook. Like not not his his main account. Like his his no, no, private one. No, not even close. Oh, I'm friends with him. On Facebook. That's that's not it's even like that interesting of a name. Mike Burb Burb Burbiglia. Yeah, fuck, dude. Why can't no, I do that? It's Timothy Pizza. <laughs> who are you who are you Tim 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 Pizza you don't know me it's Tim Pizza <laughs> I imagine someone's like oh man what time is it he goes someone say what Tim Tim is it it's Tim of the Pizza time <laughs> yeah. it's Tim of the Pizza Tim <laughs> Tim Pizza Tim <laughs> and then, like, his, his final farewell tour is just called, like, Tim, comma, Pizza Tim. Do you think he has a problem ordering pizza? It's oh, like the, the, the card holder's name, Tim, Timothy Pizza. I'm sorry, sir, what was that? Tim, Timothy Pizza. Do, do, you have a, <laughs> do you have a credit card just for ordering pizza, sir? No, my, my last name is Pizza. It's, it's I legally changed. It's a stage name. I, it's a business card. So it's a it's, horrible mistake. Yeah, it was, it's this whole thing. It's just the name on the card is Timothy Pizza. Okay. Yeah. But I, and then your card's been declined. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Uh, he's a struggling comedian. I think that one thing that really weirds me out is: Have you ever ordered from a pizza place? Yes. And you used a real fake name, but then you had to call that pizza place later in life, and the same guy was working there. No to the first thing, so then <laughs> subsequently no to the second one. Why would you use a super fake name like I C Wiener or? No, I was calling from Ohio. Okay. And to the Domino's here, to the, and I was okay. trying to get them to deliver pizza to my house in Ohio because they wouldn't deliver pizza to Matt's cousin Dan. Right. Yeah, I remember this story. You're stupid. Yeah, and Why then would, and then when you're down here, you're trying to order from them, and I realize it's that fucking guy. Right. And I had to wonder, has my voice changed like, sufficiently? A, that was such a dumb thing for you to do. Dude, and not even like as a joke. Like that, that was like, that was like low. Like yeah. what, what the funny the funny thing is is you being an embarrassing jackass. I mean, to be fair, it, it's a fun story. To that tell. W- that was the only laugh to get out of it. Yeah. Like you you made a jackass out of yourself. Good it's, job, bud. At least it's not like that one time in uh fuck what city was it? Band camp. Memphis. I ordered pizza, not pizza, Chinese food in Memphis, and the guy gets to the door, and he goes to get the receipt, and there's a gun, and you go, <laughs> yeah, I put my hands up, and I was like, and he goes, dude, I'm scrubbing your receipt, and I was like, oh, thanks, dude. Don't like, shoot me, please. I was, I was looking down at the gun, and he, was, and he just pulls his shirt down a little more, and I was like, well, thank fuck. I was like, this dude was about to fucking shoot me for my Chinese food. But then I was like, after I sat down, I was like, why, why would he not just eat the Chinese food before it came to me? Like if he was going to shoot me for my Chinese food, and he's the one delivering my Chinese food, why would he not just eat it on the way? He's still got to get money from you. Yeah, because it's going to say that I, I didn't get the food. Right. He was, cover- <laughs> he was covering his bases. He's going to buy Chinese food. He might as well buy Chinese food. Yeah, he was covering his bases by shooting me. Right. That was the real well, thing. No, get sloppy. I think that he was covering his bases by taking your money and then eating the Chinese food. And if you tried to stop him, he's got a gun, so good luck, fuckbo. <laughs> good luck, fuckbo. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that was the last time I went to Memphis. I, I just like coming up with really dumb clown names. Like, that's yeah. one of my, that's one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes, I guess. Yeah. It's just like hearing, hearing 
a, a random insult and then turning it into a clown name. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Are you asking me, everybody asked me if I had to pick a clown name, what would I pick? No. So I'll tell you what I pick. It'd be Duco. Because <laughs> you're not very creative. No. It'd be Little Shoe Tom. It doesn't end in O, that's not a clown name. <laughs> Fine, Little Shoe Tomo. Little Shoe Tomo. Yeah. And I, I'd have uh, shoes that are perpetually, like, my feet are sticking out of them and I've painted my feet white. Or I've got prosthetic feet with prosthetic shoes shredded around them. That'd be my shtick. Why? I don't know. Why do clowns, why do clowns do them? Why do clowns... Who, who grows up and they're like, I want to be a fucking clown? Here's my thing. Are you afraid of clowns? No. I feel like I've asked you this already. Because uh, I, I, just, I just don't understand it. Like, okay... The movie It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a scary oh, you don't understand It. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I I understand the movie It. Okay. Go on. The I'm movie sorry. It. Stephen King. The the movie It based off the Stephen King novel. <laughs> uh, about a scary clown who lives in the sewer named Pennywise that they're remaking a movie for for some reason. Yeah. Remember the spider form. Of Pennywise. Yeah, Pennywise. His like his his true form is like he's a fucking spider. I won't lie to you. I covered my eyes. <laughs> I watched that movie when I was fucking little. It's terrifying. I like how the top result was Pennywise Spider 2017. Right. Well, I mean... Cause oh, they're yeah. The movie. Fuck. Like, I, he just looked like a fucking Godzilla monster to me. It's just a fucking... He looks like a crab, not, not really yeah. a spider. But, I mean... This... Not really that scary. That's Tim Curry, right? I think so. I believe. I believe that Tim Curry played it. He's it. The cl- Pennywise. I believe He's that Pennywise. Tim Curry I just, it. I've said his name, and then now I'm referring to him as it. I mean, to be fair, that's not really... Do you have to Google Stephen, search Stephen King's it? Tim Reed. Tim Reed. Is that the guy's name? Nope. Wait. I saw Tim Reed and assumed that's who it was because that was top. Tim Curry is Pennywise. Yep. Okay, thank God. Yes. Apparently it was a TV movie. Because it's two episodes. It's like Flight of the Langoliers. Don't know what that is. Uh, it's a... St- oh, fuck. Don't watch that movie. This is the part of the podcast where we've devolved into Googling things and talking about them. Yeah. We, we do have one more talking point. I'm not sure what you're, what you wanted here. Civilization in real life? Yeah. It's because we sort of we sort of cover streaming services with the whole yeah, verb yeah. and stuff. So you you get to pick one country, right? And you have to take over the world within two thousand years, assume you're immortal. Starting now. You can't pick America. Uh which one is Alexander the Greats? Greece. Greece and Greece then. Okay. Can I be Alexander the Great for 2,000 years? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll okay, see. Okay, there we'll we see. go. Yeah. yeah, I think I win. Okay, uh, you know who I'm going to pick? You could literally pick anybody, because if you're 2,000 years old and immortal... I guess, yeah, you People just, just, like, and eventually, people are like, you've been around for, like, a 1,000 years. Uh, take all my shit and don't kill me, please. <laughs> I, I, I got mad respect for what you've been doing. You've been doing uh, it keep good. on doing it. I'm going to keep giving you shit. You keep on not yeah. killing me. We'll be all right. I'd pick China. China. Why China? Uh, because step one, launch an all-out, uh, who's, full-scale uh, land invasion of who, every country in the rest of the world. Right. Who's their leader in civilization? Ho Chi Minh? Yeah, uh, no, that's Vietnam. Uh, Mao Zedong. Ho Chi Minh. Oh, fuck. Is, is Ho Chi Minh, was that the guy from whenever we were in Vietnam? I think so, yeah. Because he had Ho why Chi Minh f- City. Why the fuck was I... Why, the, why is that the name that came to mind? Because, <laughs> uh... During the Cold War, there was a lot of stuff with China. Because Vietnam... Right, and, but why the fuck was that name in my brain? Relating to China? Or relating to civilization and China. Oh, because there was a, a release with him as a leader, I think. Well... A DLC thing. I want to say, I could be wrong. So I'm not a stupid racist, okay. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Hold on. Check check to be How sure, because we could just both be stupid ba-da-ba, racists. Ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. Time to see if Kaz is racist. Oh, man. Um... Where would we find this info? Former Prime Minister of Vietnam. What year? Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, 19... He died in 69, so we're good. Uh, 
said uh, Civilization Revolution. There's somebody mad that Ho Chi Minh isn't in it. You want to read that? <laughs> no, I don't think that would help us. I think it's going to. Oh, you misspelled Ho Chi Minh. What? That yeah. This guy did. There's an H at the end. I, I used an H. Oh, good, good. good. Uh, this guy says, where the hell is Ho Chi Minh? This is on Game Facts. And the, the, the sub post is, so I can defeat the invading Americans, question mark. Oh, I think I know what I did. That's super innocent. That's I think I confused innocent. Team America for civilization. No, that's 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 Kim uh, Kim Jong Il. That's yeah. Kim Jong Il. Oh fuck! I I love Korean history. Why did I not? Oh god. Wait, the Khmer? Huh. If Ho Chi Minh isn't on this list, I'm gonna feel like a super. Dude, we're dick. gonna be huge races. You know, theoretically, we could just call this before we're racist. Right, but I mean, well, that... Wait, why does it want you to create the article? I don't want to do that. I'm trying to find the list. I'm not trying to create the list. I don't think there's a list. Why would you do this to me? Look, dude, I think we should Civilization just... Civilization.wikia.com, you have failed me. We just need to stop before we're racist. All right, here we are. Ha, 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 ha. Is Vietnam not even in these? I don't know if Vietnam is... Vietnam. Nope. Is Vietnam really not in civilization? Not, Holy fuck. Not the base game, it looks like. Oh, there, that's... Okay, maybe Civ 4. There was a list uh, for Civ 4, right? Leaders. Up. Uh, Civ 4. No, hold on, go up. Does not exist. What? Leaders, Civ 5. They don't have 5? Well, they have 5 and 3, but they don't have 4? Are you fucking me? Yeah, that's pretty weird. Oh my god. Mao Zedong. That's China. That's China. Vietnam. Because Mao Zedong was there. Uh, he was the original Red Revolutionary in China. Right. Um. I guess. I guess I'm a racist. I guess we're both racist, dude. I, I wanted to say he was in there. Civ Six. Am I just digging this hole deeper by checking more and more games? No, I, I won't lie to you. I think we. I think we're in the wrong here. I think we just went full racism. Um. I don't want that to be true. I mean, I guess I guess nobody wants the the worst things about themselves to be true, yeah. in a way. You know what? Maybe there's a mod. Maybe, maybe maybe there's a there's a Ho Chi Minh mod. Yeah. Just why? A fall of Saigon. What is mod. what is right? But what is the what in in God's name about Ho Chi Minh made his name stuck in my brain? Stick uh, in my brain, not stuck in my Cold brain. Cold War history, I guess. Cold War history? I don't think that's it. I'm not that interested in the Cold War. Uh, well. I I did watch a lot of Vietnam in HD growing up, but I don't think they ever outright really mentioned Ho Chi Minh. Hmm. Well, we'll find out next time. I don't think you get to decide that one, dude. <laughs> even even as an on like an a, an on running ongoing gag, yeah. of that's that's uh. No, obviously, we're not yeah. talking about that. Uh, I think I think before we end this podcast, we do have to confirm mm -hmm. that we will be coming back in full force. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be weird because I don't know if we can do like the same kind of games we've been doing. Right. I mean, right. I'm, well, I'm I mean, we're record. right, but we're going to we're gonna tr we're gonna try stuff. We're gonna we're gonna be releasing content. Yeah, we're gonna do stuff. Yeah. We're, we're gonna continue. I mean, there's uh, there's obviously other kind of things that we've done that we've yeah. been sort of work back workshopping. And workshopping. Yeah. That, I mean, there seemed to be a, a good or deliverable quality. Well, y yes, but there seemed to be interest in it. Is what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least for the specific case of the first video we did and yeah. sort of sent to a couple of people. I, I'd love uh, to. I'd love to do that full time. I just need yeah. to get on the research. Yeah, that was. That was. I mean, I like recording yeah. stuff like that. I, I like script. I, I like doing scripted stuff every now yeah. and then. Um, not just because it's like easier. I know what I'm supposed to say, but also yeah. it's just because like I know what I'm going to say or vaguely what I'm going mm -hmm. to say, and I know exactly. It's nice having a a list of thoughts that I want to get out before. <laughs> it's it's a lot less stammering. It's not less stuttering, and you're. You know, you're getting all of your 
points all, all your information that you meant to, yeah. as long as you remember to put it in the script, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but also, just it's fun to do something different. I mean, yeah. we can play let's we can we can play games and do the let's play thing till the cows come home. Yeah. But I mean, that's not very. Uh, it, it, it's not going to be different as different every time yeah. as this other the other thing we were doing. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's really as specific I can without being, you know... Mm. Well, I, well, I mean, it's a, a super vague. Yeah. I'm trying to be... I'm purposely that, being super vague yeah. because we obviously... We want to do... To. And, and I want it to be more of a surprise. Like, mm. you know, this is something we can also do. It's not just like, hey, we're doing this thing. Mm. Uh, but there's also, you know, the, the Halloween idea that I had... Mm. Uh, that we actually did, but I fucked up, uh, what, a year and a half ago? Yeah, it happens, though. Yeah. No, it was. It had to be two Halloweens ago. Was it? Yeah, because it wasn't last Halloween, I don't... I, I wanna Are you say, sure? I want to say almost positively, because I wasn't doing anything for last Halloween. Well, the Halloween before last, I was living at Matt's dad's house. So I don't think it could have been that one. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I know it wasn't three ago. Anyway, we're, there, we're, gonna, we're gonna be doing things. We're gonna yeah. be doing stuff, stuff and things, uh, stuff and things, and things and stuff. And mm. uh, the important part is we're gonna be putting stuff and things out there. Yeah. Uh, when? Good question. Question mark. Soon. Dot dot yeah. dot. Tm. Uh, that's a trademark of Blizzard. Mm. Activist and Blizzard. Sorry. Because yeah. uh, they're they're the kings of delays and them and riot and not. Well, I mean, Riot, you can predictably tell when they're gonna, when things are gonna come out. The Ergot rework? They, when it's on PTR, two weeks, it's live. Yeah, but they, they were like, Ergot's up next for yeah. three years. 7.2's <laughs> been on PTR for, uh, for, uh, wow, for a while. Whew. And it's, uh, I don't think it's out yet. Yeah, I think they're on 7.17. Hmm. I think 7.2, actually 7.2 might be the, uh, pretty expansion patch. Hard to tell. I know a new raid's supposed to come then, but I mean that that doesn't really have anything to do with that with the thing yeah. that we were just talking about. The point was supposed to be uh, we're we've been having difficulties uh, doing the thing the the stuff we were doing, so we're gonna fix it up, switch it up, so we can continue to do stuff and continue to deliver content mm -hmm. in whatever way we can. And that isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just means it'll be different. Mm -hmm. And it might end up being a good thing because I mean, like I said, it's a lot. It, it's fun to do different stuff. It's mm -hmm. fun to do different things. Often, it's. It, 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 I feel like the doing this is going to be uh, sort of breaking up the monotony. So I mean, mm -hmm. if we if we just record a game every week, then it's just like okay, well this is what we're yeah. doing: game podcast, game podcast, game podcast. Because that that's sort of what our recording schedule has been, uh, but until lately. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is literally like this is the first time we sat down to record yeah. in like a week and a half. I got hooked on Kingdom Hearts. Plain yeah. And simple. Well, I don't blame you for that. It's a good game. Yeah. Good game. Wish we could record it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't mean to bring it back to that boat. Yeah, but. it's 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 an annoying situation. Yeah, I mean, but it's one that we can't really help. Yeah. it's one that we can't. We we hope that uh, there's some understanding there, and anybody that's stuck through this long, holy hell. Yeah, this is uh going on two hours now. This is very close to two hours. Let, let's let's push it over another seven minutes to make it to that two hour mark, bud. No, let's just let's hit it for no. seven minutes. Hit no, that. no, I'm not. I'm, hit I'm the not, bar. Gonna, not gonna actually hit the bar. Uh, punch the child. This is, this is that alcoholic thing again. I'm talking. About. I guess. I guess I'm just looking for that in everything you say. Just like, <laughs> just like. Oh man, I, I really don't want them to turn there. Uh, Spot but, the alcoholic. But yeah, stuff's happening. Things are happening. Stuff and things are happening. Uh, we thank you guys for sticking with us this long. If you have stuck with us this long, uh, and but. Your patience will be rewarded, not okay. at the end of the podcast, but I mean, like, yeah. with your patience with us will be rewarded. We'll, we'll be doing things. Is the main point. <laughs> yeah. Your, your, uh, your, your uh, support, your loving kindness is much appreciated, mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys next time 
Well, let's talk about that next time mm -hmm. on Smashbox.